updated on uh, D on um, D and D Beyond. No, nope, not yet. I wanted to see the. Uh, he's 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 yeah, more of a roll twenty person. So. Oh, uh, who me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's sorry, fine. I don't do the Beyond. All right. So you'll find out eventually. Oh, I know what you are. Uh, 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 have you have you chosen a proficiency, or or do you not have that feature yet? Uh, I do have that feature. Okay. Um, good point. I um, I have one of these in my Tuesday night game. So, well, I don't have because I'm playing in that one. But there there is there is another game. person. There we go. Yeah. I chose. I chose it. I'll whisper it to you. Okay. I'm not sure if it's going to necessarily be necessary in this part of the adventure, but. Probably. Okay. Okay. Who opened a game? I think it's a Game Boy. Uh, we lost a, a, a crib from the game. Are we here? Where are we? Yeah, we're. we're you were. Okay, so. Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, oh, well, I guess, like, you, where y'all are. I don't know if I'm in the same spot. Yeah, you're, you're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that, but we'll, we, we do need to do a recap and make sure everybody is in, in game. So. <clears throat> Chris, and come back. Is it Chore or Kyer? Chore. Chore's picture in Roll20 keeps confusing me because I think it's like a a webcam, but it's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why are you in your car? <laughs> Okay, how do I fix that? Because I thought I'd done that like the last two times. I don't remember. Okay. I think it's something in the settings. There's the blue dragonborn. <laughs> oh, so... Everyone else found out my secret, so you can find that out too. I actually used to be a dragon. Yeah. One I mean, of the vessels of Bahamut. Yeah, that was kind of obvious, but yeah. <laughs> Which is why you got that little charmy charm from him that one time. Yeah. There was yep. hints all over the place. Just no one asked about it until we started being like picking on people, being like, "Nobody's seeing it. Nobody's see getting all the clues." Well, I mean, I knew it personally, but yeah, I mean, Roland. I mean, DM had to talk with other DM about things. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. So, let's let, let, let's let's kind of like start rolling. Not intentional pun. Um, previously on Bears and Dragons, um, you guys stormed a castle, uh, killed the Resmir, uh, negotiated with a uh, uh, cloud giant uh, with a fantastic persuasion roll. Of a 26 versus a DC of 25. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, You're reminded the cloud giant that you don't like, they don't like dragons and shouldn't really be helping dragons. It's just a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Blagoskis has, uh, has told the party 
So it's like, you're right. Uh, you know what? It, could could you do me a favor and uh, just just clear out the cult of the dragon from from my castle? Just just, just get rid of them. Uh, uh, take whatever spoils you want. That's fine. I don't care. If you do, I will also give you something. And so uh, this is where Yakety Sax starts coming on, and there could be an entire montage of you going around and slaughtering everybody, but we're actually going to play it out. I will say, do not deprive me of this. <laughs> uh, so that that's kind of the point. Plus, who knows? Maybe you'll die. TPK, stay in. <laughs> They've been known to happen. Um. So you guys are, uh, it's probably starting to get to the evening. So it's probably going to be starting to get, it's kind of like starting to get a little dark. Okay. Since it's starting to get dark, I guess the best time for thing for us to do is go after the vampires first. What do y'all think? I'm, I'm down, down to whatever we kill. <laughs> well, they're about to come out, so they'll be like the first ones we kind of find. I just have a quick question about how we're going to deal with the dragon. Are we going to take a break between that? Yes. Or... We're going to okay. take... The, the kind of whole gist is that we're going to go after everything but the dragon first. And then right before we attack the dragon, we're going to take a long rest so we're at tip-top shape and then go after it. Okay. That way we have any uh, spell slots recovered, HP, abilities, whatnot. We can just go then go ham on the dragon. At this point, because he, he also reminds you that, or to remind you, uh, any ogres or Giants that are in the location are not to be touched. They have all been informed that they're they're not going to interfere with anything for you. But if you do see them, you're you're not to kill them. They're basically Blagovkis, uh either allies, uh, allies. So yes, they won't help us, but they won't hurt us. So mm -hmm. on to some vampires. Group. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm talking since last since like before, but I was muted and um, I said yes. Okay. <laughs> we can go. Uh, let me check if I have uh, if we have um, uh, holy yeah, water. I have some holy water. Um, uh, that should be fine then. Plus, with uh, me and um, Gizli, we can do some extra damage because they are undead. So, with our smites, our divine smite. Yeah. Let's see if anything else. They probably have some not so great things against radiant damage, so. Can't be good. Yeah, vote. Uh, anyone need to prep anything quick? Uh, no, I'm fine. Let me just take a look at my spells. Spells. Any abilities spells. that you want to have? going beforehand so you don't have to waste anything before all right i am ready Well, we're not we're not entirely ready. 
hey, as you walk out of uh, Blagovskis' uh, tower, um, I would like everybody to roll me a perception check. I am blind. Frederica's eyes stopped working and she doesn't know why. <laughs> yeah. You're you're all kind of like focused on going to kill a vampire, I suppose. My passive is better than my one I rolled. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. My uh, I, will, I will say you could take your roll or your passive. So. Passive. Passive. Oh, passive. Passive. Okay. I'll take uh, my roll. Yeah. I, I, I figure oh. you would. Cyrus. Wait. Like Cyrus is the only one who rolled good. When has this happened before? Well, we still have Roland. Or, no, Roland's not. Uh, is no, no, Roland he's, with... he, he's, he's not there yet. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. Roll, uh, Cyrus is the only one that rolled well. Ma ha 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 ha! It's because yeah. I'm not distracted by walking. Hold on, I need to find GC here quickly. I'll so what, of twelve. So flying is less distractive than walking. Apparently, I don't know. <laughs> don't quote me on anything. <laughs> Well, it, 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 curious little little creature going out, just kind of like looking around, and, and uh, uh, you do see. Does anybody have a, a passive or, or or besides Cyrus? Does anybody have a passive that's higher than sixteen? Is sixteen? Nope. Okay. So Cyrus, you notice what looks to be some sort of winged creature, kind of circling around the. Uh, uh, castle. Is it my favorite winged creature? Uh, no, it looks like it has feathers. Ew, not my favorite winged creature. <laughs> uh, uh, it actually, it, it actually looks like it 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 uh, kind of like quickly s swings around and starts heading in your direction. Oh, I. Does it look like a friendly winged creature, or um, is it? As it gets closer, uh, you see that it's a griffin, yeah, and sure. and on top is this uh, uh, cloaked, kind of wide creature. You can't really tell from the face because the, the the hood is kind of like shading the face, and plus it's starting to get a little dark, dark out. And it, it flies down, and it actually lands uh, near your party. Okay. Uh, yeah. and, and this big chunky yeah. boy <laughs> in a hood comes off and you can kind of tell from, from the physique it is a turtle. <gasps> he is a big chunky boy. Roland? Yes. It is I. Huzzah! The biggest smile on his face and runs up and gives him a big hug and just like, we have missed you, friend. I have learned many things while I was gone. Uh, you hear a squeal come from uh, Zindralov's shoulder. And you see this uh, little worm, worm looking like kind of dancing <laughs> around. There's the bestest good boy I know. Zinger, Zinger Cyrus looks very and... hurt at that statement. <laughs> Zinderlov comes uh, comes up to you. And says, "Welcome back, back old friend." And he uh, uh, helps uh, Rift move up over to you. You took your time. Cyrus, uh, I'll just start patting your head because I know it's okay. It's okay. Also, <laughs> also uh, Zindralov hands you a pouch uh, which contains uh, five gems that were found. Oh, look at that. I, I'm just pulling a number out of my ass. I didn't even <clears> roll for it. Uh -oh. 
But we had plenty of time since you since you left for him to at least find find five gems. <clears throat> and I will say that um, y'all kind of notice like Roland's more in control of of himself, if that makes sense. Like you won't see oh, him. Oh, you mean the, his whole personality thing? Mm-hmm. There is a reason for that. So. Which is why he has that subclass that he has. So. That we don't know about. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> what, mastermind or assassin? Nope. Swashbuckler. Nope. The next one you say, I'm going to say maybe. <laughs> Whatever it Art. is. Divination wizard. No. <laughs> well, you just you just lied. You said you're gonna possibly. Well, you said possibly gonna say maybe. So never mind. Okay, let's do I, this. I was referring All to right. to roguish archetypes. Are you at least a rogue? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, nice. Soul knife. Are you gonna catch Roland up and just to make sure he doesn't kill something he's not supposed to? Yes. Okay. Yes. By the way, we have good boys and we have not good boys. Do not hurt the not good. Do not hurt the good boys. <laughs> you had to so think I, on that one. Like, like, don't hurt, don't hurt the not good boys. <laughs> Cyrus, your life was in danger. <laughs> All right. So right now, actually, we are about to take on some vampires, since they are about to awaken. Further there. Are you ready for this, Roland? Uh, you, Take you that hear. as a yes. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, this uh, with a flick of his hand, a uh, rifle appears in in his hands, and and he, goes, he cocks it. <laughs> Take that as a yes. All right, let's do this, boys. Leave Roy <laughs> So you know that there's uh, a massive blockage uh, in the uh, initial entrance, but you do see a balcony. Is it like, like, how high up is it? Like, are we able to get to it? Do we know that they're there? Yes, about- he told us where everything was. Yeah. Cyrus. Yes. Just by the configuration of this castle, this is a big uh, big room, but a small, like a, a thin one. An area of effect could do great there. <coughs> Fireball. <coughs> <coughs> Lightning. Uh, where are we on the map? Um, right here. Right here. <laughs> Lightning bolt. <laughs> we're, we're at the proof token. Uh, because we're about to go out to the vampires that are in here. Okie dokie. I didn't know um, there were vampires in there. Yes. Uh, King told us that there was, like, they kind of do the night, night watch for the castle. Okay. Or the giants told us that. The giants. Yeah. Because I remember. Yeah, the two giants told us that. Well, if anything, a giant. If anything, you're aware that a giant told you. (laughs) Yeah. Giants told us that they were there, but the king told us their location. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, so you said it's sealed, like kind of like with ice. Yeah. So the the main door that's on the floor is uh, basically got a whole bunch of debris. It would take a long time and probably be pretty noisy for you to try to even clear that out. And you don't even know how the, how it's structured inside. So you, because of all the debris that's in front of them, there could be a lot of damage. If there are stairs, they could be damaged, or the, the stairs may still be fine. You don't know because 
you haven't gotten through. But there is a balcony that's 75 feet high. Or up. Okay. Question is, how would we get up there? So I know that um, Roland has his boots of spider climbing, I think. No, huh? it's sweet. Isn't there a griffin sitting there? I have the boots. Is, is the griffin still there? Yeah, he hasn't been told to leave. So he's just kind of like sitting and waiting. Okay, well then, good point, sure. Let's use the griffin to one at a time get us up there. Uh, it looks like a relatively narrow balcony, and it looks kind of weak. Can I walk on the floor, on the walls? Yep. Thanks. Because so you activate your spider climb, there. and you just kind of walk up. Yep. Because Cyrus can go up there, fly up there. Sister can um, spider climb. Up, spider climb, like. One of the people that can go first can be Kriv for me, so we have a little tank boy up there for us to kind of go into the door and make sure it's kind of I can, safe. How much does Kriv weigh? Half yeah. as much. <laughs> <laughs> He's a heavy boy. He's 280. Okay. No, he's not. 280 is Man. not heavy. He is 140 right now. Yeah, Cyrus will slap his back and be like, man, this diet's really working for you. <laughs> uh, I'll take... Yeah, Roland is heavy. Uh, oh, I'll, my... I'll Why are is... uh... <laughs> Look, he, he's got this big, uh, hard shell on his back. <laughs> he's a chunky boy. Of course, he's 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 pretty heavy. I'm going to take... I'm going to take Shior on uh, while I walk uh, on the, the wall, if he doesn't mind, since he's the smallest boy. Gizzly, we take the gir the griffin. Yeah, me and Kriv and uh, Gizzly and Roland can do the um. Um, I'll I'll watch, ride with whoever's on the griffin, and I'll make it so that um, Mister Five Hundred Pounds of Shell does not break <laughs> this brick griffin's back. I don't know. <laughs> it 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 looks like a really large yeah. griffin. Oh, um, they are, uh, Cyrus has this little pocket dimension mansion that we kind of use as a base, and they are staying there. They're yeah. reading and playing around. Yeah. Like, when I say mansion, I literally mean mansion. And, I mean, and it's a Mordecai, it's like different mansion. No, it's, it's, it's a Sybaris' secret layer. There's a difference between the two. <laughs> True. They're not. Yeah. I don't think they're big enough to. Yeah. Uh, they're they're to. they're wormlings still. They they probably can't carry. But they're still medium creatures, which is terrifying. What's the <laughs> I kind of want laid in here just so he can breathe fire. I need to do. I mean, you could. I mean, technically. Uh, um, uh, uh, Cyrus could set up the secret layer to kind of like be a base that you can go to and you can bring the dragons to wherever you need. See, I can only do that to one person at a time. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> you, uh, I believe you also have rope. No. We used it to tie the door. Yeah, oh, that's right. <laughs> on uh, the main courtyard. We probably just, still have some, but yeah, sure. I don't have any. I can't yeah, no, I don't have any. You all mine. Uh, yeah. Roland has some, probably. <laughs> no, I do yeah, not I have some. mine as well. <clears throat> I See, have... if someone wants to let me repeatedly magic missile, I can force you up the wall. Wow. I like I like your idea. Unfortunately, that might not be the greatest one. What are you talking about? Any room? Um, by by the way, the 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 wall to to the tower does look like 
if you examine it, it does look like it has uh, uh, plenty of handholds. Oh, so we could climb it. Yeah, look at me. I'm climbing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Shut your face. You got your every, shut slippers. Your face. Every regular, every person who is going to climb it regularly just needs to roll an athletics check. Ew. Nope. Try this. It, it's, it's the weight. No. Oh no, that's nope. Oh, I fell on my ass. I fell on my <laughs> ass. Curve is having some issues. All right, we're just gonna do the Griffin. All right, we're gonna do the Griffin. All right, I'm just gonna say. Uh, I'm just gonna say everybody makes it up. <laughs> okay. Somehow may make it up. Uh, so. Uh, you do notice that the balcony looks pretty weak, and uh, anybody who would actually be standing directly on the balcony uh, would probably start. It, it would probably start breaking. So we would uh, slowly kind of like move our way in. So we could just say say that like Frederica comes up, opens the door, yeah. looks inside, and he he sees three sarcoph or uh, coffins. <gasps> coffins, just like. <laughs> Vampires, yeah. So, hypothetically, what if we just glued the coffin shut? <laughs> I like your idea, but glue doesn't exist. Well, well, yes, it does. You no, know, it, it exists. I mean, not the industrial glue that that we have right now, but there's adhesives. Better yeah. adhesive exists. Have you yeah. ever heard of the? Unremovable glue, or oh, yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it exists. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you think, think uh, uh, some of the furniture in the Forgotten Realms is created? They probably use some sort of glue. Magic. Not everything is made out of magic. And, and, and yes, to uh, Roman's question. So, you guys want to put yourself inside the tower? Yeah. Right now we've got closed coffins, and give me a, a a essentially a clump as you just enter the room. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Good places to go. Can we tell what these um coffins are made of? Wood. <laughs> it doesn't really sound like No, wait, 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 wait. Um how's the, the top of the the this tower? Is it flat? Well you're not on top of the tower, you're inside the tower, but yeah, yeah but it's a it's a flat landing. Uh, I believe there's supposed to be some stairs that or that actually go down, but if you look down at uh, about like uh uh, just a few stairs down, it's it's broken up and it looks like the bottom is collapsed. But what I mean is, if I wanted to like take out the coffins and put them on top of the tower, since we're in midday. No, the sun is going uh, no, down. No, it's it's. It, I I think it's more of like steepled. So, okay, but so it, could... it is also almost twilight. So even if it, it uh, would have to wait until the end of night to to, to actually finish that. My bad. Then we're just gonna kill them. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's why I said. Can we just light the tor the coffins on fire? Yeah, that could do. Uh, uh, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. It's, it's light... one of those things where it's not necessarily that easy to light on fire. <laughs> like gonna... it's treated and stuff. Oh, Let me get some. I'm taking three there. damage. Oh. Because you're an edgy girl. Plus, yeah. we are in a night yeah. tower, by the way. Well, not really. It's kind of crumbly. <laughs> Just the door was sealed by ice. Rude. Well, from from the top, looking down down the stairs, you see that all the lower levels have essentially been collapsed in. So, like the only way to get to this floor would have been through that balcony. Uh -huh. Okay. So, could we say? A torch could be a impromptu stake. 
Sure. Um, okay. I would like to make a I stealth say check. Each, each take out a torch and stab one in the heart. I'm going to do something funny. Besides stabbing? Stabby stab. It's better than stabbing. What is better um, than... Okay, come on. You got to tell me what's better than stabbing. Can I, do, can I do a stealth check, please? Yeah, sure. I suppose. Not good. All check. right. When check your whispers. <clears throat> uh, not yet. You d you don't really have anything to attack. So, I would like to go up to one of the coffins. Yeah. And I'd like to cast a movable immovable object on the lid of the coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's gonna take care of one at, for the moment. Okay. Well, first off, I need everybody to be on the board. How do we know the vampires Gizli? are even in these coffins? Yeah, I'll get I'll get Shior and Gizli on on here. So Gizli's on. Oh, okay. He was just over the king. Could okay, these so just be coffins right here, and the vampires are already out? We don't know. Oh, well, it's it's not actually nighttime yet. It is. It is almost nighttime. So they would have been like during the whole time we were like up here. It was daytime, so they would have been asleep. And we were told this is where they sleep. And they're probably about to wake up. It is. It is really dark. Like the angle of the doorway. Uh, like if they're the the right now there is no direct sunlight or anything. It's um, dark in here because it, it is twilight, so it is kind of it is pretty dark in here. <laughs> I'm assuming that Zindralov probably lit his staff. No, don't light your staff. <laughs> I need the darkness. Hello, darkness. <laughs> He's like, but I can't see a thing. <laughs> But, but go ahead and, and move yourselves, get get yourselves into a position where you want to be, and we'll, we'll get, well, get whatever everything is. Because we don't know where the coffins are technically okay. through the map. So, so, all right. So let me actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the tokens on here, but they are in a coffin right now. So, okay. uh, so uh, we're, we're just going to move these to... There you are. So they're in a coffin right now. So they are currently in total cover. Immovable object. Okay, you cast a movable object on on the uh, lid of it of the thing. How long does that last? Concentration. Um, I will do it at third level. Okay, how long does it last? <laughs> <laughs> And the duration increases to 24 hours. Oh, Got shit. <laughs> a DC to move the object is increased by 5, and it can carry up to 8,000 pounds of weight without failing. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> I'm going to say uh, to begin with... Uh, now, we do have to kill these I'm things. I'm just going to use that. So, we were asked to kill. I mean, he could dismiss the spell because this is spell. Right, yeah. but I mean, having one less enemy to focus on be easier. Very true, very true. It, I mean, it's crowd control. Password. I'd like to set the password for a movable object, so if it's spoken, <laughs> uh, it'll fail, or the spell will dispel. There's a uh, password? I can set a password. The password's going to be, get ready, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got to be uh, just but in draconic, so it's it like <laughs> like. It, it, I, I don't think my draconic. translation tool could actually figure out what that actually would be because I don't think it probably has all those words. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> Let's, 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 let's just get the initiative. Yeah, let, let's just do this shit. Please. Oh, I yeah. fucking right. have my turn tracker selected. Come on. I did. Well, you don't have your turn tracker. You need your your uh, uh, 
token selected. Okay. Sadly, I didn't. God damn it, Cyrus. <laughs> oh, the, the vamps are going fast. Well, one of them. <laughs> Does it randomly um, give people tiebreakers? No. It, it, you it's the setting. I want to do that. Uh, in the settings... So you gotta add you gotta add five more to that number I just rolled. In the middle section, add Dex Tiebreaker Initiative. Underneath uh, <coughs> Strange no, Dex. No, That's my initiative roll. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> I just did that so I can get on the board. And the Thank you, Chris. <laughs> That is Crim the password in Draconic. I love it. All right. Sadly, motherfucker is not a word that can be translated to Draconic. Truly tragic. Is everybody on here? Holy I fuck! Think that I am. Gizly. Yeah. And it, it was not a crit. Sure it. I mean, this is a, uh, you know, my character. I need to go first, so <laughs> it, it's a it's a thing. All right, so currently, the uh, coffins are closed. Uh, one of them is like. Innumerably closed. <laughs> um, I'm not even sure if that's the correct, the, uh, correct verbiage, but you know what I mean. Uh, uh, it is now. Roland, uh, uh, what, what, would you, what would you like to do? So, um, let's see here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right. So, um, I will position my. Uh, let's just see. Um, how <laughs> thick is this wood? Like, would a bullet go through this? Or no, it's it, it it's probably pretty sturdy enough that it's it's one of those things where it it would take some work to actually like punch through it. Mm -hmm. So uh, even a even a bullet from uh, from like a rifle or uh, wouldn't would damage it, but it wouldn't Increase. necessarily go through it. Okay. Um, then how much like? Could me moving the um, coffin top? Yay! Bonus action, or would that be an action? I will allow it to be a cunning action. Okay, so then I do that as my cunning action. That's mm -hmm. that's not normally something that a cunning action is supposed to do, but I'm do I'm, I'm just saying that you could like. Quickly Does do it, it and just kind of like throw it off because it's it's light enough that it would do it, but it's sturdy enough that a bullet wouldn't be able to go through. Mm -hmm. Does it count as a door? Because door is interact with object. <laughs> oh yeah, I suppose. Never mind. In that case, yeah. It's no, I, th I think this okay. would probably be something that would be a little bit more work okay. than, than a normal door. Okay, so take the lid off of the coffin. Okay. And you see it. You see a vampire spawn looking right up at you, and she hisses. All right. So then I will concert attack. And since it's um, first turn of my combat, I get two attacks instead of one. Yeah. And they both do bonus damage. Yes, because it's sneak attack. Uh, but you're also using a ranged weapon, and you're within five feet. 
But you st- I would still say this would be a sneak attack. So, so you just need to hit. But, but you cannot you cannot sneak attack if you have disadvantage, right? Well, I have sharpshooter, so it doesn't matter how close I am. Oh, that's oh. true. <laughs> oh wait, oh it's that's not what I meant. Actually, that doesn't help me at all. No, it's crossbow expert. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. I don't have that yet. It's okay. Just take five five feet back. Yeah, I could I could do that anyway. Five foot step back. Um, he's gonna try to attack, and oh no, he's gonna miss because <clears throat> he's prone, and attacking prone is 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 with disadvantage. Well, also he's got co- partial cover because <laughs> yes, because he's still in a coffin. There's lots of problems with this. There's always a lot of problems. Well, I have to... Let's see. Oh, but he couldn't... Oh, no. He can't... You can't sneak attack this one. He's prone, giving you disadvantage on the range attack. You need to attack with a melee weapon if you want to do some damage. Not really. <laughs> It's just more not really because of the melee. Oh, that's, that's not, I didn't mean to click that. I meant to click the actual, like, button so you could kind of see what's happening. There, there you go. Move like when until the end of your turn, your movement does protect the opportunity. Once before the spell ends, you could give yourself advantage on one, one attack roll on your turn, which means that if you have disadvantage, it would just be a straight roll. And additional damage. Yes. So. All right. The Zephyr strikes. I'd say that hits. Uh, yeah, that definitely hits. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Uh, oh, yeah, but that's with the bullet. Special bullet, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you see this kind of like uh, bullet shoot out of his rifle, um, it, and it looks kind of glowing, uh, kind of a uh, well radiant color, <laughs> and it hits and he goes <laughs> as it hits. He doesn't like that. That yeah, hurt. Like that. Shit. And you've got a uh, second attack. I do. Oh, uh, but did you had the the force damage on that one? Because oh yeah, the there, there's the one d eight force damage. So. Oh yeah. oh yeah, it's it's up there. Is that the six oh. we want to just do that? That's oh yeah, I'll yeah, we'll just do that. Yeah, that really hurt. All that damage count. And then my next one. A oh, crit. shit. <laughs> there you go. All right, <laughs> All right so what do we got there? Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> so what's that total? Uh, t- t- 20. A lot. <laughs> 30. Uh, and there's a D8 on that one too. So two D8. No, it's only on one one weapon at, uh, attack roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so the the Zephyr strike bonus is already over. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um. So let's see. No, I was talking about uh, his Gloomstalker stuff. So there's there's another one. No. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, oh, really? yeah, you're right. Yeah, oh, okay. Because of this, uh, I'll put it in the chat. Yeah, Dreadnought Busher. <laughs> yep, I get an extra D8, and so I guess I'll, I'll just roll it twice because it's okay. critted. So three times because the other attack did it too. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Not that it changes anything. He's gonna well, let's it anyway. just say say this. Uh, it's yeah, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the overkill. There was no such thing. <laughs> no, no, I only I, get I only get that die for the second attack, not the first attack. So this is correct. 
so it's the 13. Yeah, you're right. My bad. Yeah, in the end, the total is going to beat what his remaining health was. So, uh, so one down. Uh, okay, so that, that immovable object has a strength DC to move it. Yeah, it adds plus five, I think, um, Sarah said. So the DC is is um, yes. his save plus five. So so what's your spell save, his save DC? Right. He has to beat a 21. <laughs> He's going to beat a 21. I'll be sad. Nope. <sighs> Do we see the, the like, do we hear someone <laughs> trying to open it? You hear, you hear. <laughs> Coming from the uh... Cyrus the just just wants to like take a moment and look at everyone else and just put his hands up like this. You just like sit on top of it and just go. Huh? <laughs> it gets on his high legs and just. Hey. <laughs> uh, Cyrus is your turn. Woohoo! You, yeah. you you currently can see no targets. Darn. <laughs> I like hitting things. Well, don't yeah. hold faster than living. One of them. So you can always <sighs> ready an action if you wish. Yeah, because we'll be opening up mine. Just... Just uh, 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 open another one, see one, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I'd like to ready a lightning bolt at the next vampire I see. All just right. <laughs> just, just, just make... The, the only thing is you can't move, so everybody... Uh, you could see that there's some lightning kind of appearing around uh, Cyrus's mouth, and you recognize this as be, being uh, his his way of casting uh, a lightning bolt. So keep in mind, everybody here, that Cyrus, who can't move during this ready to act, uh, when he actually initiates the action, is probably about to cast a lightning bolt. <laughs> Big zap energy, yo. Which means... Make sure you're not in the way because you will be hit too. <laughs> All right, so so queue up. Uh, so we'll do this in order of initiative too. So we're putting in the queue a lightning bolt from Cyrus. Uh, Gizly, you you realize that the the coffin you're next to uh, 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 can't open. All right, so I'm gonna move down, y'all. Yeah. And Cash gets and out of open. the way of the lightning bolt. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and open the coffin. All right, you. Uh, actually, let me, let me let me actually. I got a handout for this. Let me know. Where is it? Handouts. You get to to, to uh, see this chick. Uh, oh. All all nicely curled up in her in her coffin. She's someone. Uh, she, she has a name. Uh, she is current. She is uh, not for long. <laughs> she she is currently prone. Um, I will say, sitting on top of the other coffin, you can just see into uh, that coffin. So, Cyrus, uh, what's your spell save DC? Um, she okay. fails because she's unconscious. No, her eyes are open. She is conscious. You, you said she was unconscious. In a yeah, you said she's unconscious. It's a deck save. I didn't say she was unconscious. You said her eyes were closed and she was in a ball. I no, didn't but... mean it that way. Yeah, I, I mean... <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's okay, right, guys. Like, it's retro retcon. We're already retcon. This encounter. You, it you pull it up. She's she like try at least. She. You you open it up and she looks at, up at you and, and goes, <laughs> and then gets a uh, lightning bolt in the face. <laughs> uh, so. Jack, DC is sixteen. Oh yeah, she makes it. But what's the uh, damage? Ow. That doesn't make any sense. She can't move. <laughs> Even though she'd have disadvantage, she would. Actually, still no. Wait a minute. 
I did that wrong. Uh, she has a plus nine to her save. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, she's very dexterous. So, anyways, roll the damage because she still takes half damage. <laughs> so half of half of thirty six is what eighteen? Yeah. Yeah. Eighteen. All right. But it's not as good as a thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, moving on. Um, uh, Gizly, Giz, Gizly, you you open the cover, and uh, 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 Cyrus shoots Makes his sense. lightning bolt, uh, uh, shocking her. She closes her eyes briefly because of she's being uh, electrocuted, and then what do you do? Right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna activate my sword, and I'm gonna go ahead and attack. You can do it. Hey. Oh, did I do the wrong one? I think I did. Shit. Oh, you did, right? Okay, all right, all right. Uh, yep. All right. So yeah. And then I'm going to use attack again since I get to attack twice. Okay. Wait a second. Would... Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, divine, you want to uh, spite that? So they get an extra, extra D8 because they're undead. Oh, yeah. Uh, D8. Is it just one D8 or two? Well, well it depends on what was... level you want to use. Uh, if you do so a it, second, second, it'll be a total of four D eight. Yeah. Let's go with uh, level one then, since I'm kind of so three D eight. Three D eight. It's thirty seven damage. Yeah. Still. Yeah. It, it it it's it's still a good amount of damage, but you got a second attack anyway, so. Right. Which can smite too. <laughs> if you want a 37, you can. <laughs> you are right, Roland. Want to throw another divine smite on that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. You're going to need more than three dice to get uh, 37, though. Oh, jeez. Oh. See? We're, we're missing a six to, to the... The thirty-seven. Yeah, uh, that that was pretty hurt. <laughs> she doesn't like her day. She woke up on the wrong side of the coffin. <laughs> she had her turn. She's gonna try to pick up the lid of the coffin and put it back. <laughs> I'm like, nope, I'm not waking up today. This is. Hold on. Do they have um, vulnerability to radiant damage, or I or you don't know that? Yeah, I'm asking as Dustin to when I, I'm I'm gonna say you don't know. Okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah. uh, nothing. Alexa, come up porte. Uh, all right. So, uh, Zindelov's going to get a uh, better angle on things. And he's going to uh, try to uh, uh, guide him bolt. Is that, is that a level one? Okay, hey, cool. <laughs> it's a hit. Oh, that will definitely hit. Uh... <laughs> Just for good old times. Uh, and knowing that, oh, hell, just, just for fun, he's going to have cast it at a higher level. Well, that mm. sucks. Fourth level guiding bolt only doing 18 radiant damage. The caramel comes to Delfo. Oh, it's 76. Oh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Uh, Frederica. I did yes, that. I'm here. Sorry, I just received my uh, Starbuck because I'm basic. I'm going to move there, and uh, I'm going to attack this little one three times. Three times? One attack. Ha. Oh, the, the, the butt end. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Does 18 hit? Uh, 18, I think that does. Yes, it does. Okay. 10 is not going to hit. Yeah, that's a failure. But 23 will hit. Yep. Okay. So, so 29, um, yeah. 29. Yeah. All right. 29 is still okay, but just not that great. Yeah, I probably should put in uh, one or two more vampire spawns in here. Anyways. <laughs> Griff. All right. Going to go ahead and activate my glaze. Well, I mean, you are expecting me, so. Yeah. <laughs> It, 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 well, I mean, all I need to do is drag out another vampire spawn. It's fine. It would have been fine. Dirty 20. One or two more. Dirty 20. Okay. Yeah. Right, 19 and. Yeah. So we're going to do that second level. So that's going to be uh, roll 40. Okay. 19 and 19. was just talking about it. Actually, technically, I... I think somebody had advantage on one of those rolls, but I'm going to just oh, say it was I had advantage. Care. I have advantage. That, yeah, but it was on the first roll, which you hit anyway, so. No, it was on all roll because she's prone. Uh, yeah, uh, she's also dead. <laughs> <laughs> In amongst all that. She once had a name, no longer. <laughs> So she's dead, so I can just I'm just gonna get rid of her. Alright, so then I'm gonna come over here. So it would be an action to open up the thing, right? With the password. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you wouldn't be so able I to could. do it. I didn't tell anyone else the password. password. No. Huh. Yeah. Oh. You can ask for the password. So you tried I wouldn't be able to do anything else, so you tried I, really hard. Well, speaking is a free action. Yeah, but yeah. I couldn't actually do the act, like the uh, opening. The opening would be well. That technically, I, I've been we, we've been using that as like an interact with object, which is a free action. Or you could just say the password, and then Cyrus would be like, "How did you know that?" <laughs> I know you too well. <laughs> <laughs> so it would be a free action to open it up? Yeah, it would be a free, free action. Okay. So free action. But, but here's the, the thing is, 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 is I did say Cyrus like was sitting on top of it and doing the huh. So I don't know if he would have like moved after he did that. Well, um, I haven't had a turn since then. Yeah, so so currently Cyrus is sitting on top of it. Not like it's hard to move him. <laughs> like if you threw the cover open, he would just like throw it off to the side. And he would have to react. But uh, just like into the air. Just yeah. And and if anything, we could just queue up a bunch of ready actions. Yeah. Oh, um, little, so. little I can't odd. ready an action because it's just because you already took your advantage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to take my second attack. Yeah. So, try to focus through the. So, the so, so move on. Okay, GR, uh, you haven't been able to have any fun because everybody else has been slaughtering these guys. And currently, there is, there is a, a, one more vampire spawn which is currently trapped. <laughs> and uh, you can't attack it until, until uh, at least the coffin is opened. Uh, did you want to ready an ac action to uh, 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 hit the vampire spawn? Uh, yeah, already Eldritch Blast. Okay. So, Q, as soon as the the um, uh, coffin is open, you are, we'll, we'll cast a uh, Eldritch Blast. That'll be the first one. Uh, I'm assuming, Roland, you're going to kind of do the same thing with your rifle? Um, yes. I'm going to ready 
um, an action. Um, and I also have this. I don't know if I can do that with a ready action, but um, I'll say that. And then you can let me know if I can or not. I, I would say that that the ready part of it is is essentially your action for it. So I would say that it still affects your actual attack when you take the readied action. I, mm -hmm. I know that's probably like fudging the rules, but I'm, I'm okay with it. It's confusing, but it's okay. I just, because it's a bonus action. Right. It's mm -hmm. just your, your action that you're taking is delayed, is all that Cur uh, right. for the ready. So it, it's still your regular action. So Okay, then that's what I'll do. Okay. All right, so Vampire Spawn tries opening his uh, thing again. Uh, definitely boop. <laughs> barely even moves. Cyrus? Okie dokie. Well, so you said that... Oh, Interacting with object is free action, right? Yes. Okay. So I will just speak the password. Get ready, motherfucker! And then I'd like to, like, kick the lid off. And then I'd like to cast lightning bolt at his face. Okay, so first off, I, I as soon as the lid cut, it cuts off, we enter our queue of ready actions. So first off, I need TR to to, to send out a um, Eldritch Blast at disadvantage because they are prone. This is a shit show. I look. <laughs> There's something about it. It's just it just the angles oh. all wrong. It took. It, it didn't even. It, it didn't but, even took ten seconds. So, so, so it's it's like the lid comes off and just somehow you're distracted with the first shot, but the the second bolt uh, does hit. Uh, so, so we're. It's, uh, you at least get the uh, get the third, get one of them to hit. Uh, second uh, is Roland's attack. Uh, which is a straight roll with your advantage from your steady aim. Wind. What do you want? Uh, I am not trying to rules lawyer, but technically, uh -huh. um, when you are attacking someone within five feet of them and they are prone, if you're in melee range, you get advantage. With me, and yeah. but if you're using a ranged weapon and you're within five feet, you have disadvantage. So it's just a normal roll and not disadvantage. For a prone creature, if you're ranged and you're making an attack roll, it is at disadvantage. Uh, the okay. If you're if you're a melee range, it's with advantage. Yes, yeah, so you're in melee range. But you're using Amen. a ranged weapon within five feet. Then you Amen. have disadvantage, but uh, then you have disadvantage because you're within five feet and making a ranged attack. But you have advantage because it's on a prone target and you are in melee no, range. No, the advantage is only if you're using a melee attack. Okay. So you, you would essentially, if you were using a ranged attack in melee range of, uh, of a creature uh, who is prone... You would essentially have double disadvantage, <laughs> although there's no such thing. It's just disadvantage. <laughs> In any case, uh, moving on, we were Roland's uh, taking his shot, uh, which is a straight roll because he's got his steady aim, but he has disadvantage because it's a really range attack. But he's got allies within five feet. I don't know how that ends up being for sneak attack. <laughs> Complicated. All right. I can do the rule lawyer and just tell you what the actual rules. Is you... it... Go go ahead. Just remind me of the rule. 
I don't need advantage as long as people are in within five feet. Five feet. Yeah, yeah, but you cannot do a sneak attack if you have disadvantage. And still, disadvantage doesn't. But I don't. But I don't he doesn't have, have disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah, because he's prone. No, but well, I gave but, but, advantage, which already. means which um, negates which negates the the disadvantage. So he yeah, neither we, has dis. This is how I understand where you're trying to rules lawyer here. You were telling me the rule, which is all I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah. But because the advantage that he had negated the disadvantage, he no longer has disadvantage. He also just okay. doesn't have advantage, which means no he's fine, which yeah. includes sneak attack. That works. That That's how, how I'm doing the that, math on it. That's okay. Yeah. It's not like he's going to survive or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got we got six versus one. It's it's it's, it's gonna, gonna be a white. I've seen there. I'm, I've All seen right. that somewhere else. All right, yeah. and we have um, yeah. Roll the lightning bolt damage. <laughs> Woohoo! This is this is, this is a lightning point. bolt that's going straight down. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming that, that Cyrus is just suffering breathing, breathing lightning. Yeah. Uh, so. 28. Uh, sadly, if I'm uh, doing all my math right, there is still no uh, a fire or lightning or, or lightning damage or radiant damage. Excuse me. One of these things. There's yeah, still there enough um, to finish them on. So I'm going <laughs> to do something funny as well. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so Whenever I cast a spell and someone fails the save against it, I could move them five feet in any direction. <laughs> I would like to have him get electrocuted so hard he shoots five feet into the air and falls back down. <laughs> he, he goes, so he goes, ah! and it comes up, <laughs> falls back into the coffin, which is cushioned. Exactly. It, it doesn't do anything. It's just like boop. He didn't it's like it. Humorous. Either way. It's for the uh, it's for the trolls. It's important. Uh, you skipped. Oh yeah, it's Gizly. Gizly, uh, moving back. There we go. Gizly, gonna come over here and uh, 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 take this person out of its misery. Gizzly! I can't hear you. Hey, Stan, I'm talking to one of my uh, troops. Oh, okay. It's okay. No sweat. Look, I'm playing D&D. &D. This is more important. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, you're right. D&D <laughs> is life. Honestly, let's just yeah. assume he's dead. I mean, yeah, uh, but I, I like going with. through emotions. He could with. I know, but Zinderlov could just do radiant flame. Well, but, yeah, but this is also a vampire, which is kind of dexterous. So you can try again. And with. and 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 all that would do do is if it if they do take damage from the sacred flame, it, it would. Uh, it may not kill them outright, right? Maybe some leftover, but it will at least stop their regeneration. So, which you guys don't know about, <laughs> because at this point, no one has they have not had time to. Do. <laughs> to they haven't been able to. I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Do, do, uh, right now, we've got a vampire spawn that's been electrocuted, shot, and uh, <laughs> uh, 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 eldritch blasted. Uh, it's still alive, but it's still prone, which means you can walk over with he's, advantage, uh, uh, stab it to death. He's still, uh, he's still fuming. You, you might want to <laughs> just throw in a, a, a divine smite just to make sure. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, uh, okay, so I'm gonna attack with my sword. Yeah, I think he's dead. Yeah, yeah, I think it's dead. <laughs> that crit, though. Nice. Uh, nice. So, That's a uh, crit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with only 11 hit points left. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to take a quick bio break. Because I really need to pee after having all my coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Alex. Uh, I need coffee. So... You didn't um, make coffee? Is it is the coffee made? It's just hasn't gotten into a mug yet? No. Oh. I'm sorry. Who are you? What have you done it's with my Cyrus? Trick. Oh. We're I'm gonna uh, uh, so we're gonna do a quick bio break, so like less than five minutes. I'm glad that coffee counts as bio. Bio. Yeah, it's bio. <laughs> Anyways, we're back. Bio? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, be right back. Hi, Alex. Sorry, just just looking at the chat. I've been focused on the like, game. Why are we doing something that comes out loud? Oh, that's right. The great purge of Xtube and Pornhub. One of the many reasons why we're not doing this show on Twitch. <laughs> mm. Although we're doing rip Xtube slash Pornhub question mark.
I took the time to go and pet my boyfriend. You pet your boyfriend or pat your boyfriend? Is there an E or an A? A E? Pet my boyfriend? Uh, I think that's... Still kinky. (laughs) Still kinky, yeah. Well, I wouldn't call it kinky per se, but... No. I mean, I I rubbed my hand in his hair. Oh. It was sensuous? I don't know. Something like that. If oh, although I do feel uh, a lot guys, better with my bladder guys, drained, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want to know what I what I gave him for Christmas? What? Sure. I can, I can whisper it. It's the DMD cookbook. Ah. Oh. Yeah. He's complaining. Uh, he's not uh, doing enough because he doesn't know what to do. I think now he's gonna have to, uh, a couple of ideas. Have you have you seen the World of Warcraft cookbook? No, oh, it's really cool. Is it? Yeah, it even tell it gives uh, ideas on on how to make um, some of the actual like cooking recipes that are in the game. Okay. That's so pretty, obviously, that's sweet. yeah. So obviously, obviously, you can't have like some of the creatures, but they they have here's a replacement. <laughs> You can use chicken instead of this bird. That's what I got, Cubby. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> it's his favorite one, so I found it. Okay. That's what you got, uh, got him? Mm-hmm. Nice. My brother wanted the uh, lightsaber, so uh, we decided to buy him a watch. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Well, we figured like the one he was asking was the cheapest one, and I was like, "If we're about, if we're going to buy you like a lightsaber, we're not going for the cheapest one." So. You're gonna buy yourself the like the the lightsaber. That way you can build it your own. And we're gonna like do something else. Buy you a watch. Yeah, and it's but it's a nice watch. It's a wooden watch and it's um uh graved. Is that um, engraved? Engraved, yeah. That's nice. Yes, it is. All right. Cyrus still getting coffee? Are you back? Apparently. Looks like he's not back yet. Okay. Damn these Cyrus. <clears throat> this is going to be fun when we uh, uh, get to that treasure hoard and I get to, to have you all roll uh, a d40. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do two D twenty because there is something for a roll of the one. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's super easy to do a random generator of one D four. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, oh, but it, 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 it is it is also kind of easy to to, to roll it the two D twenties versus having to type out slash roll one D forty. Yeah, but at the same time, like w- since we're on the online, it's super easy. So, well, that means yeah. I, I'm I'm just saying that it that it take it's shorter, it's faster to do two d twenty versus uh, having to type slash roll d forty. How bad is the one? I mean, it's not much. I I didn't say it was good or bad, but I just need I would just need you to. To the roll of D forty, so I'm just gonna, I can clear this. I don't need that anymore right now. And just turn that off. So. Um, while we wait, we're gonna loot the bodies. Loot the bodies. I was just gonna be looking at that. <laughs> Speaking of looting, I want to collect an eye from the the one that was named.
Sure. I didn't even think about like yeah. what happens if uh No he says sure but Sorry Sure Sure S U R E Gotcha Yeah it doesn't say anything like vague had anything special Turn to ash or anything like that it was dark, so. Oops. Strangely enough, there's no treasure. Boo. The coffin contains dirt, but no treasure. A nice staircase hugs one wall, descending a few feet before uh, ending suddenly 50 feet above the icy de detritus, filling the lowest level of the tower. Oh, that's not the screen I wanted to go to. No, oh, not that one. <laughs> I can click the right things. There he is. Welcome back. All right. So, no treasure, just dead vampires. Uh, Chiyori has gotten uh, two eyes from a named vampire. Did you say eyes? Yeah, yeah, he needs some eyes. He plucked out the eyes. See, I love that with D&D &D, you can just say something as psychotic as like that, but it's so casual. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys want to just take a short rest? Yes. Move I on, or...? Like, I won't get anything beneficial from it, but sure. I would like to get one of my spell slots back. Yes, I do. I get a channel to the back so I can actually use that. So I can use it again for my harness to that. Which I'll go ahead and do so I can get a second. Cheers. That was not bad. Um, as you're taking the short rest, uh, Zinderlov uh, goes up to Roland and says, something tells me that you would be better suited for this. And he hands you a key. Mm. Which is the infiltrator's key. So if you want to attune to the awakened version of an infiltrator's key, Roland, you can. Is Roland with us? I haven't heard him. Hello. Hello. You, 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 Zinderlov has given you the awakened version of the infiltrator's key, which you can attune to during the short rest. Okay. I am becoming one with this key. I shall unlock all the mysteries of life. And doors. 
I mean, it is more of a roguish sort of thing, so. Right. No, no, no. I agree. I'm just making fun. Mm. And then I'm going to go on my tracker and see how that Roland has it. All right. So y'all take short rests, recover what you need to. No one needs to heal up because nobody was actually hit by anything. <laughs> but uh, I am going to go ahead and use my harness divine power to gain back the spell slot now that I have a channel for the video. Or, uh, yeah, channel divinity open. Okay. All right. Where to next? Uh, it is now nighttime. It's time to head outside, back outside. Um, yeah, I'm going to say you easily get down from the tower. I'm not going to worry too much about the mechanics on that. And he did say that there were the kobolds over. Right? Or did he not tell us that? Uh, yes, you were informed of the... Uh, basically, the kobold servants' quarters were over there. All right. To kill us I'm seeing, like, go, while we're going past here, seeing that there, like, while we're walking past here, we'll see that there's a door here. Um, and then. then Checking that there's a door here. I think we should split and get them from both sides. What do y'all think? Like, some people go here, and then some go here. I agree. It's a flank on both sides. Uh, I know somebody I mentioned about getting the dragons to help out with this. Did you want to? Get them? Does Indralov? Let, let's, let's, yes, they, sh they should be. Okay. Let's. Yes. Do some acid and then and, and, and fire? Fire, yes. So. Any combat experience. Cyrus, where do you want to, like, uh, set up your. You, you you do know that that there are some uh, giants' living quarters over here, down down here. So it could be a place where you set up your base of operations while you're hanging out in the. I think that would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. So may, maybe this could maybe this could be where you've taken the long rest. You can give uh, Roland the tour of the. Uh, uh, secret layer. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're take we're mean short rest. Yeah, we we'll just say this is during the short rest because you were going to grab your dragons, right? To help yeah, out. You, said, you said long rest. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> no short rest. I mean, it, the, it, he can have the portal up for 24 hours just fine. So, just yeah. kind of like set it up now, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then when you take your long rest, he'll just come back here and. And take your long rest, and then go back and continue your adventure. So, are, are all three of them coming out, or are you gonna just? Uh, I'm uh, having Lena come out. Lemon is already here. Ma ha 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 ha. Yeah, uh, gonna join. Oh, I'm muted since the last. Bi I'm dumb. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've been talking forever for no reason. All right. So, yeah, Shatan is going to be so excited to be there. And what I said, I, I was like, well, look at this nice lightning bolt doing 100 feet. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, like yeah, a fun. fire. I don't know. 50, 50 I mean, if line. anything, you, you could have, like, uh, at least one on each side. Just, like... Throw the doors open, and they both breathe from both uh, both uh, sides. Yeah, and Should then not. then anybody else who who's left can uh, 
uh, be wiped out. So, Shutand, it's your big moment, boy. He's really excited. He's like blinking. They, to, to kind of show his excitement, he's like uh, becoming, he's going invisible, coming back invisible, and just kind of like blinking. Yeah. <laughs> the blink. Well, uh, do you want Shatant at the south side while the other two are on the north side, or how are you going to do that? Position your dragons. I will be on this side. My dragon is there. Where is Lemon? Lemon is right here next to me. So, uh, so you're going to have acid coming from one side and fire coming from the other side? And magic coming from one side. Magic's going to be coming from both sides. Okay. Well, and well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So here's how, how I'm I'm seeing things. Because what's the what's the range on on the uh, wormling's breath? Fifteen, 15 feet. feet. Fifteen feet. So they could pretty much. So the idea would be be kind of like you 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 kind of synchronize and you both open the doors. The dragons jump in, so they're kind of like right next to whatever the first one is, and, and then they just breathe in a big cone right in front of them. And we explain to them why this is okay right now. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's how I, how I've been ma imagining uh, this this all is going. Okay, let me get cobalt's here. Uh, well, it's it, I'm probably just going to worry about the damage rolls, but all right. Yeah, because. But but if if needed, <laughs> I need to make sure I can roll damage or roll their their deck saves because i think they have both acid and fire decks yeah but and there's uh their dcs aren't that high yeah but if you these are kobolds too so depending on your damage i will see if i even need to roll <laughs> yeah okay oh it's 5d8 yeah so uh you guys coordinate, you open the door, and uh, you breathe fire or, or and acid. So uh, I, I need all the dragons to roll 5d8 each. Considering the save would be for half. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> Not all of them, but like. And, and and then uh, just need uh, those, oh no Shit. there they are they're all there. Goodness, Kriv, that was a chunky roll. It was. No, the the fire is, good boy. is with them. Good boy. <laughs> all right. Uh, so what's the the distance? I need to to the I need to do do, do a measurement. Cause technically, because technically all these are ten feet. Yeah, because it's but. Yeah, but no. Okay, so so here's here's what I'm thinking. Um, because with with three dragon wormlings, they could probably like between the three of them, they would be able to kind of, uh, like the first two could jump in, breathe, and then the third one just moves a little bit further to get the whatever uh, is remaining. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so with this. The dragons basically burn and uh, dissolve all of the cobalts. <laughs> Woohoo! Good job. I just give him a good scratch, but like in his favorite, like his favorite spot on his head, I just give him a good scratch. So proud. <clears throat> I'd give Kisota a big hug. That was fun, Mama," says Shatan. Shatan, is there any other life? Who was that again? I'm sorry. Is, is there any other lives? Uh, um. He looks around. That I don't see any any of them alive. They're all either dissolving or uh, uh, ash. 
<laughs> That's because you did a great job. Yes. <laughs> we wouldn't want to make them suffer for no reason. Uh, Laden, Laden currently, uh, his, one of his back legs is like, like instinctively wagging. You know, it's the, the, <laughs> the, the whole dog thing from his, from his scratches. He's getting that good scratch because he's a, he's a good dragon. So that that's our quick way of taking care of the kobolds. After doing like ninety something damage. Yeah. Ninety nine damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just I mean <laughs> literally if you half that damage, it would still be overkill. <laughs> <laughs> for 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 kobolds. Yeah. All right. Uh, so then uh, so this level is essentially clear. Anyone hungry? I say let's go to the kitchen. Yeah, let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> it's dragon time in the kitchen too. Should we, should we try that that too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're training. Oh yeah, the dragon just laid and staying with me for the rest of the time. All right. Yep. Yeah. So you you see that the the griffin. Uh, because I think he peeked in there. You see that the Griffin uh, has is is now outside, and he see, sees you, and just kind of like is is just kind of watching. He seems to essentially have gotten out of the way. <laughs> um, we will definitely say you have had enough time for the for the breath weapons to have recharged. Nice. Actually, no. I, I need each of you to roll me a d6. What is a d6 per round? Yeah. No, just, just, just Cyrus Griffin. Uh, uh, sister. Okay, so two, two of them. Uh, Lemon takes a little bit longer for, for her breath up with the charge. She can tell. Uh, in this. Okay, I think I'm ready. This is about like two or three minutes. It doesn't take that long. Enough time for you to get downstairs. We did that just for fun. Yeah. All right. Just, just uh, we're we're assuming a similar thing is happening here. Go ahead and uh, uh, roll the the damage for the breath weapons. Oh, that's a yeah. hefty roll too. Yeah. Okay. It's not as good, but still good. Oh, all right. She she used she let her breath weapon go a little bit too early. She still yeah, wasn't I ready. I rolled the wrong ones. Oh yeah, roll roll properly. Oh uh, shit! So, so, so oof. <laughs> Big oof. Uh, similar thing happens here. Uh, 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 probably this this time two come from from the one side and take a row of each. Each gets enough of them, and then the other one comes, swings in, and throws in to to mop up the rest of them. Easily, all the kobolds are burned to death, and 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 uh, are currently dead. So, kobolds are just too easy to kill. All are right. you guys going to take your rope back for for the final room? I'm Actually, beginning. no. This isn't the final room this, the, okay, for so the for the barracks. I'm beginning to think that. Um, it's this is too easy for you, Shutant. Oh. And so, uh, was there not a couple of uh, red wizards wandering around somewhere? Yeah, they're in the yeah. upper right of this map. That's why this isn't the last room yet, because we'll have to fight them first uh, next. But we'll do these uh, dragon claws first. Yeah, and the wyverns and uh, no. the wyverns no. are essentially tameable. So oh, I mean, okay. you yeah. could you could probably he he's I mean maybe maybe uh, uh, you can take some time trying to tame tame them and they become your own mounts. I like mounts. Mm -hmm. You can fly around with Shatan. Yay. Um, so right, I'm so going let's... to undo the knot and re, re take my rope 
Yeah, and, you, so, you, you hear hear from from the top. It's like oh, you, you locked him in. It was hilarious. They kept trying to open the door. It was hilarious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're also gonna give us back our rope, right? Yep. So you guys have your rope back. Uh, mm-hmm. Are you gonna gonna do the split party thing again? Yeah. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to climb the tower and uh, go on top to go down the stairs. All right, we were told not to to, to worry about you guys. So here you go. <laughs> but I'm gonna pass by here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, the the ogres that are on top of the tower are just g- grading you from when you come up. Oh, hello. You're gonna kill them all, aren't you? <laughs> we made sure the door was blocked and everything because yeah. you blocked your doors. It was hilarious. <laughs> all right, that's, so that's, that that's it. That's uh, there. We are. I need to get my oh okay correct sheet. See what happened. The only time I try to save some lives, we end up destroying them anyway. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get the. Uh, oh God! Tracker. It's a huge snowstorm in here. How did a snowstorm get inside your house? Uh, my cold heart is leaking. Oh, again? Yeah, I know. I got the repair. No. I guess my cat is not licking it enough. All right. Everybody get in position and uh, uh, roll for initiative. Yay Bullshit. for gifter for have... lactic. Oh, that was a good initiative for Layden. That's good. Yeah, check out Shoot Hunt. There we go. I got six. Was what I was going to put it at anyway. Um, Cyrus, I don't want to be a bitch. What are you? You're the slowest of the dragon. Roll lemon. He's just smaller. <laughs> How? Okay, wait. Here we go. You need to click on lemon, though. Does that work? Yep. No, you need to click on lemon. He, he, he did. did. Oh, it did. He's, he's on the tracker. Yeah, but the tracker was not uh, scrolled down. <laughs> it had stopped at. Uh... That sounds oh, like a you problem. Thank you. Yes, I know. It wasn't my problem. <laughs> Look, it's just you're smarter than everybody. You don't need to go first. Uh, yeah. I need to triangulate who's going to be the last <laughs> to die. Just for the lol. Rift is going to be on the initiative. All right. So get it, get it, get it in positions. Uh, do we have everybody? Let's see. Do you have a guess? Yes, please, no, though. Gizzly roll. Gizzly did roll, so I'll just add him. Uh, there we are. Are right. you entering Gizzly manually? Yeah. You know you can um, right click on his token and said had turn, right? No, oh, I did not. That way, his picture appa- um, appears. Uh, oh, there it is. Oop. There it goes. There you are. But no, Gizzly is not getting two turns. <laughs> Who's that? There you go. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm going to uh, players versus pets. Uh, players will always go first. Yeah. So they just got um okay. Lemon has been practicing very hard on the treadmill and I feel like that is very demeaning to her self confidence. Well, you, she she is also going before you anyways. 
I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, like be- between Chior and Chitan, uh, I'm going to have Chior before Chitan goes. Yeah. So that's, that's the only difference. Beside, she's going to look at you and be like, you snooze, you lose, my daddy. All right. So literally all of our dragons are going in before us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, although, uh, and uh, uh, Roland, you're going in before the dragons. All right. Uh, I'm going to say that you kind of have this coordinated effect where you all throw open the doors. At the... No, you're probably going to do it one at a time anyways. Because uh, 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 Roland uh, is going first. And I would consider this a surprise because they... They're kind of like <sighs> we can't get out. They they've in the time that it since they've been locked in, like from all ends, they've just kind of given up and are just kind of like lounging, being like just waiting for somebody to to open the door. There's they seem to be ready because their weapons are out, but that's about it. So the door to to the uh, east opens up and uh, there's a big turtle in the way. What's the turtle doing? Killing them, obviously. That's a nice attack. First one. It definitely hits. Oh. And this one. Says, and, uh, um, uh, three, two, and which one was it? This one. Mm-hmm. Half, of, half of the sneak attack, so 1d6. Is that rolled, or is it that just half of what he originally rolled? Half of what I roll. Okay, so... No, it's it roll four. half of the it... number of sneak attack dice. It's written there. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, so you can, you can roll that. <laughs> 1d6. So, 1d6. It's super great later on. See? Oh. <laughs> That damage so, cap. And then my second attack, is he still alive? He's uh, still alive. So no. Okay, I don't have sneak attack. He, 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 he might be dead in a second. He's still alive, but barely. Uh, well. uh, yeah, it, it, it just goes wide. Well, actually, I would have advantage on that, so because it's because uh, you were going first, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I will re-roll that. There we go. There we go. And uh, you blow his head off with the second shot. Okay. <laughs> Your you see Roland come in with a with his r- rifle and go, psh, psh, uh, and blow the head off of uh, one of them. And for some reason, the one next to him is just kind of like, yeah. Um, big turtle being in the way, uh, I can't quite hit him. Well, I just gotta say, well, wide. I'm right. The one, yeah, there, the there's a spar right here. Up. Yeah. Well, I'm explaining why he, he missed. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's all right. Get good. All right. Uh, all of a sudden, the door on the other side of the room opens up, and this black dragon uh, uh, comes in. You're like, "All right, yes, this is great." Bye, do it, baby. All right. What's the DC? Eleven. Yeah, that's not great, DC. But he uh, failed. He, fa- he, f- he failed, so he takes uh, 28 damage. Yeah. Uh, so he, he comes in and he looks directly at, at the. And he's he, the dragon wing thinking, thinking, oh, this is great. I, I, it's He's a black dragon, so of course he's going to be helping out, right? Nope. Um, <laughs> he goes, hey, what are you? <laughs> Asking him, splashing in his face. Sadly, doesn't kill him, but it didn't. Nope. Uh, and uh, 
the other uh, and from the east door, I think, right? Or where, where's Layden? He's over here. Okay. Uh, comes in. And on each door. Uh, another breath. Yep. Okay. Uh, and it's DC eleven, right? Yeah. I mean, I got three of them. One, two, three. Well, it's a line, so there's just. Oh. Eight. Well, it's if he's using fire, it's cone, right? I, I it, think. Well, I don't know because his, his only his character sheet only has the acid, but I think the fire is a cone. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I'm going to say it's a cone. They all take eleven. All right. And then I have him, and he'll slap back. Oh, that's an attack of the team. He's gonna learn not to do that. Yeah. Uh, He's still learning. Does a does a did an eleven hit though? No. No. No, they still have a shit. They're like ah, <laughs> fire, and then he just kind of slashed it towards him, but completely misses. He still has a good natural armor, so. Uh, Frederica, uh, you, you, uh. It looks pleased, but then looks a little surprised when he's still alive. Do I do I leave you this one, baby? Uh, sure, Mama. I think I got this. And I'm just gonna look at the other one like you dare touch him. <laughs> and I'm gonna attack uh, the one in the bed right. Why? Okay. Oh. Well, that's that's a crit. Uh, that's a that's a crit. Um, how much is that total? That's uh, tw- twenty-eight. 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 Uh, really hurts. I'm gonna do. He, he's not looking good. Uh, the second slash kills him. <laughs> <laughs> he's like boop. gonna move right there. Okay, and attack this one with my uh, second attack. Or your third attack? Well, yeah, it was that was my mm-hmm. bonus action, the second one. That's uh, uh, nope. It seems like swinging her around. You just like we're we're just holding on to the staff. Just uh, the glaive's just a little short on that side, so it didn't quite make the full ten feet. So okay, that's good. It it almost hits him, but you just miscalculating. Right here, activate my uh, glaive. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna something. Oh, that's gonna hit. Yep. And kills that one outright. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and move up. Attack this one. Is he alive? Uh, yep, just barely. Divine, uh, divine smite. Okay, not anymore. <laughs> uh, let's just do first level. Yeah, he's not looking re- re- really good after. This is like a delayed di- divine smite. It's like you you slash through and you do the whole thing where you turn around, turn around, and then it's like ah. And then there's this flash of uh, of uh, radiant light, and uh, he goes, ah, ah. Well, Kriv, Kriv does the uh, iconic Shiva snap. <laughs> well, we knew you were gay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rift. What does Rift do? He lives. I will be 30 seconds because I have a friend picking up all of our, I mean, my friend group, Secret Santas, and he's dropping them off. Okay. Hashtag Uh, stay in COVID safe, but he's outside, so I just need to run and give him. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I got Rift and Dragon Wings before. (laughs) So what's Rift doing, Roland? Can't hear you if you're trying to speak.
I guess he does nothing. Uh, Roland, what's Riff doing? Maybe he's typing? I'm not seeing it typing anywhere. Let's say, let's say, I'm, I think he doesn't have attacks. But I'm not sure. Nope, I see he's moving. Oh. He burrowed, I'm assuming. Oh, wow, that, that bite. It misses. Uh, sadly misses. He goes to, to, to bite, but nothing happens. He's trying to bite the feet, but he's moving. It's a, it's a, he's, a, he's biting into the boot, but it doesn't like do anything. Oh, poor baby. Dragon Wing doesn't even notice. Uh, but then... I'm going to attack this one before he reaches me. Okay. Do I hit him? Uh, yep. I do 18 damage to this one. Okay, he's still up. Yeah, yeah. Both of them are weak now. Gotta resolve this one. This side, uh, a couple of attacks. Let's see. Next level, they won't move that easily. They had a D6 of oh, okay. their resistance, as I heard, as I read uh, earlier. All right. So tack on to, to Frederica, a couple of uh, attacks, a 16 and a 9. The both doesn't hit. OK. Uh, do you know uh, what their uh, their damage would have been, though? Resistance says right here uh yeah but he needs to choose <laughs> yeah i haven't thought about that let's all say poison uh i'm, I'm gonna say cold for reasons yeah, that's okay uh yeah it makes so. sense. but 16 so it doesn't hit i'm assuming um no. and from the other one uh yeah there's a 19 does the 19 hit you yeah, the 19 hits me, and the 25 definitely hits me. Okay. So you take nine points of slashing damage, and uh, uh, another nine of cold. All right. All right. Uh, let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Right, they, this is counting uh, squares and ten foot. But those beds don't look like they're supposed to be ten feet wide. So I'm just gonna count them all as five and, and a few more for you, Frederica. Yeah. One. Uh, me. One slashing, three cold. Two. Uh, misses. Uh, the other one. One. Uh, oh, no, it's just uh, four slashing, five cold. And the other one misses. All right. That side of the room is resolved. <laughs> this no, drag this wing side. doesn't. Uh, goes up to Tortle. Uh, Thinking uh, you blew off the head of my friend, and he's got like some some blood and guts over his face after the, his friend was blown head was blown off, and he's gonna actually attack uh, the turtle, uh, which I don't think any of those either of those actually uh, hit. Right. Yes. 
And the other one's going to do the same thing. Nope. He only killed one of their friends, where I killed two of them. It, it's it's a reaction thing. All right. All right, Kisota. It's time to be cool. So uh, where is the big button? Yeah. Well, so one slash of... some go. Okay. So we've got. Right now, Frederica is kind of surrounded by four uh, dragon wings. Um, Which two of them? There's two on the other side. So, if anything, if there was a priority to anything, we'd be trying to help out uh, uh, Frederica. All right. Kisocha will go in there and she will cast Magic Missile. Cool. She'll put uh, all of them at this one. At the top one? Okay. He's yeah. the most injured, so yeah, makes sense. Okay, so that's 3d4. Six. Plus three? Yes, plus three. So nine force damage. Why is that? All right. Cyrus. All right. That was amazing! Good job, Lemon! <laughs> okay, um... How are you doing, Frederica? I'm fine. Do you want me to protect you? Sure. Okay, I will cast Resilient Sphere targeting Frederica. <laughs> what is that? A sphere of shimmering force encloses a creature or object of large size or smaller within range. An unwilling creature must make a dex saving throw. On a failed save, the creature is enclosed for the duration. Nothing, not physical objects, energies, or other spell effects can pass through the barrier in or out, Through the creature in the sphere can breathe there. The sphere is immune to all damage, and a creature or object inside can't be damaged by attacks or effects originating from outside. Nor can a creature inside the sphere... You could also just willingly fail it. Sorry, I heard the beep, and I was like, are you making a save? And I didn't look. But, but I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make a save. Like, I don't want to be stuck in there. No, she, I in can other just words, miss it at any time. It's just to save you from their next round of attacks. Uh, so, so, so she'll... Well, here's the thing: is is that she goes before uh, them. them. So, oh. do you want? If you want to, you could hold your action to cast it after she's done. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I would like to do that. Round. So, hamster ball. Hamster <laughs> ball is okay. Okay, I'll You're, do that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Gizli. I wanted to cast resilient sphere for so long. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Go I'm by happy. Gizzly, go by square count. Don't go by the ten feet because I'm just saying that they're they're five foot for movement right. purposes. Okay. So when I go by a square okay, so square count and So you would actually have to dash so in order to make it up to him, and then you wouldn't have be able to attack or anything. Right, I'll go ahead and do that then. Cause yeah, I, either way I won't be able to do anything. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You don't have no range attack? I mean, I have battle axes, but... Hmm. That's or hand it. axes? Yeah, yeah, hand axes, yeah. Yeah, you could still use it. You, you could just kind of run in and throw a hand axe just to try to do some damage before you make it, or you could just double dash so that you're there for next turn. I'll just double dash for, for next turn. Good. All right. Roland went to the restroom. Um, he's going to disengage and step back five feet. He gave me instructions. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and he's gonna shoot the someone in the face. Yeah, that that's what he do. Yeah. Point him up. Like, are we surprised? 
No. Let me strike right for a Pew. He hits by the, the 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 skin of his teeth. Uh, yeah, he uh, blows that one up. I'm not even bothering roll with sneak attack. Uh, still his movement. It's gonna pop over here so that you can see the other one and shoot it. And do, do. but. Is he five level of... No, he's not five level of um, ranger, right? So he doesn't have a second attack. It's only in the first round that he has a second attack. Oh, okay. Sadly. I'm just so used to those things. Yeah, I think it's next... Is yeah, next it's because level it's, it's level five when he gets gets the extra attack. Yeah, of the ranger. Yeah. Or I think Rogue does at five too, right? No, Rogue never gets extra attack. Sadly, they wish. Sneak attack. I feel like they do, but maybe I'm thinking something else. Anyways, moving on. Sure. All right, uh, moving forward. Can I shoot the guy that's still up over there with Eldritch Blast over there? Um, he has cover. Oh, you're you're trying to do it across the room? Okay. Yeah. Um, no, that's Kriv pinging, right? Yeah. Is this one you're going for? Or which uh, one you no. The the one closest to you that's alive, uh, right. from where you are, has cover. Yeah. Okay. So I believe that's a plus. Five, it's a plus five. Uh, easy. Three quarter, yeah, three quarter. Okay, I'm gonna go over there. Okay, I gave one of my player a shield that gives uh, three quarter. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead and go after. Um... I mean that 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 end of the room is pretty clear. It's the ones on the other ends of the room, and you've got long range. Okay. With Eldritch Blast. So, uh, the one to the south of Gisling. I, I can clean up this one. Yeah. This one? Okay. Well, one of them hit. At least. Rolls are not necessarily with you today. Nope. All right. Um, so, Todd, I just I just wanted to make uh, sure something happened. Mm -hmm. This one got scared of me and didn't attack the, the black dragon, right? Oh, I totally forgot. Or did he attack? Um. Yeah, well, we'll just say he, he he was slightly frightened, and he forgot to uh, attack because I forgot to attack. With him. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have attacked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wreck on it. I'm just gonna stick with what it is. So, uh, so Shatan is going to bite because his breath weapon is not back. Right. So Aww. he doesn't have advantage. No. Why is it rolling? Oh no, it's not supposed to roll with. Advantage. So no, yeah. Shatan is gonna miss. It's okay, baby. You're gonna do again. Is he a multi attack? No. Next okay. turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next. Layden, roll a d6 to see if his breath weapon comes back. Yeah. Uh, it does. All right. So he's going to fly. Let's see. 120. That's 60 feet. Nothing's in range yet, but he's just going to stay back for right now. And he's going to ready in action to breathe fire if someone gets in range. So if someone attacks, try to go after him. Okay. Frederica, you're surrounded. Yeah, I'm going to attack the, this one. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, I'm not using the good one since the beginning. I'm dumb. Ugh. All right. All right. Everyone dies. Which one others is uh, hurt? I think it's the one above, right? The, the, the top one and the bottom one are both hurt. Yeah. So I'm going to attack uh, the top one. Okay. Ooh, just made it. And uh, That's, uh, 10. Still alive. And hit it for another 15. Second one was a little. The butt end was a little more powerful than your second swipe. Yeah. Happens sometimes. <laughs> uh, and actually, it's dead. So you clobber it. Just hit it right in the in the uh, solar plexus. No, whatever the, the temple. Yeah. It kind of crushes its head in a little bit. Baby. Triv. Go out for this one. Hit. I'll definitely hit. It's looking pretty hurt. Uh, all right. Then second. Just saving your spell slots. That's right. Yeah, that's moves. This. Does Rift uh, try to try to bite it again? Is he back? Oh. No, he's not. Oh, there he is. Good when you aren't seeing that. Like, I guess everything's... Yeah, he's whispering me. That's rude. I mean, I can tell you what I whispered if you, if you really want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Riff doing? Um... How bad is this guy? Uh, he's definitely bloodied. All right, let's see if Rift will do anything. Uh, he he gets into to a. Uh, He's able to get to reach a um, a open part of his armor and uh, nips at uh, uh, the uh, dragon wing's heel, and the dragon wing's like, like, ow! And he looks down and sees Rift, <laughs> and then you know Rift just like tunnels on the ground. <laughs> yeah, <it> just <laughs> disappears. So long, fuckers. <laughs> Uh, that since since we're kind of focused over there, that dragon wing uh, gets closer to uh, Kriff because thing, and uh, attempts to hit him and does not. Uh, let's see here. Hi. And again, Frederica is being. Uh, oh, you know what? Did I even? I didn't even put Zinderlov in the the turn order. Hold on. No, he's like I think I've murdered enough for today. <laughs> Well, Zinderlav has some other things they just want to do, so I'm going to gonna get him on the, the turn tracker quickly here. He can heal. And we're going to say... Uh, he, he would have come up here and uh, seen... Frederica hurt. And let's see which which ones do we want to use? Healing wound. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to figure out what level he wants to do it at. We'll just do a. Yay! So thirteen healing to Frederica for my healing word. Oh well, we knew you went to the bathroom. You didn't have to. Yeah. Three. It's okay. Uh, yeah, he's going to attempt to, to Sacred Flame the Unhurt one over here. Uh, that one fails. Uh, 
It takes 10 radiant damage. There you go. I'm going to quickly send so I can get everything in order. So, all right. Back to the Dragon Wings. Tax and Frederica. All right. Uh, first one, first set. Uh, does 14 hit you? I don't think so. No. Okay. Second set. Uh, oh, there's one. Uh, yeah. Take four damage. At the second he like he sees his attack arriving on me, he bumps his weapon on a shield raised by Cyrus. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so Cyrus is uh, uh, in case you into a bubble and they're just trying to hit at it and it's not working. <laughs> it works. All right, what's Lemon doing? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna be that kind, but he's, he's still scared of Shutant. Oh yeah, no, he's gonna gonna attack Shutant. Uh, hey, oops. Uh, by the way, uh, do, do do they have resistance to? Not cold. Not cold. They have no, no, but but to the slashing. Uh, no, not at this. Because uh... they're they're not magical weapons. No. Not okay. now. Just checking. Okay, so he takes six damage. All right. Uh... Yeah, so what's Lemon doing? Lemon is gonna do another magic missile. And which one? This one. Okay. <gasps> the bitch! He's trying... like, you attack my brother! <laughs> She's Thanks. trying to KS! <laughs> oh my god! No, it's... It, it's They're just being helpful to each other. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how we say it. <laughs> Maybe Chitan appreciates it. Anyways. Roll, roll the damage. <laughs> Oof. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, w the one, the the initial like, magic missile comes from flies. Uh, flies at over. the at the lowest you could you have six damage from magic missile. But what? that's only rolling one of the bolts. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was so like, that what the that's fuck? that's a crit, uh, crit on the oh. damage. <laughs> that wow. is a okay. max damage magic missile. Okay, so. Where do you want the other two missiles to go to? Because the first one hit that one. Just this one? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so another 10 damage to add to that. Chitant looks over at Lemon uh, uh, and goes, Thanks! <laughs> She's gonna hop up and down and clap her hands and be like, I did a thing! <laughs> uh, and uh, we're gonna... Throw another deck save for this. Uh, this one. Oh, totally fails it. Um. Uh, takes another nine points of damage. Uh, yeah, this one's looking pretty wet, rough. And yep. Okay. This one. Right. Maybe if I paint. Anyways, Cyrus. The top one is looking uh, pretty rough. The bottom one uh, looks hurt. Uh, over on the other side of the room, this one uh, looks bloodied. But you just have the three remaining. All right. Well, you know, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong with a fireball. <laughs> Especially when I'm encased. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So deck saves. Yep. I Might save. as well. All right. Uh, I believe they both save, right? Uh, yeah. It's the first number. Yes, they both save. Mm -hmm. Okay. Roll the damage. 34. They're still not going to like it. So this one is dead. And the other half of 34 is 17. Yeah, yes. So bad. Help me, help me with that. Uh, the last one doesn't look so good. Oh, G Gizli, you're going to have something to kill. 
Hey. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill anything this round or this he's, time. He's, he's looking really rough. I, I think this is one of the things where where uh, you pretty much just be like, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and just attack. If you hit him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No no spell slots needed. Oh! And he misses. All right, First, I'm gonna yeah, but you got another second. attack. Yeah. So this one does better. Let's hope. Yeah. Oh, why is it? Did I do the wrong There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you sneeze, but because of your sneeze, you, you kind, of, kind of whiff, but then you bring it right back. Uh, uh, you just kind of like turn it around and bring it right back up and just lop its head off. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Roland. Yeah, the, the final dragon wing. I'm assuming there's bonus well, action additional there. Right. It's a melee person. Oh, that's too bad. Anything else? I think that is a no. No, sorry. No. I'll be all right. Also. Uh, Chitant's uh, on the opposite side of the room. Chitant is going to uh, come to Mama because uh, nothing he can do. Okay. GR, maybe you can finish this one off. Last one standing, 200 splash. Oh, accidentally did three times. But uh, the first one, five. Uh, still up. Just barely. Uh, other two uh, swing wide. Um, Layden? Layden's going to get closer, but he really wants to see his dad to, uh, kill him. <laughs> Give some inspiration to, to, to his dad. Not actually, but... Frederica, uh, I'm assuming the bubble goes away. Yep. Uh, you're going to have to do it for a second. Unfortunately, my, my, um, what's the name? My, my whole internet just decided to go fuck off. Oh, okay. Uh, it, did you, did you have a range attack or anything? Because you really couldn't make it to the other side. Oh, I have a range attack, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to let the other one. So oh, okay. Just gonna not do anything. You're you're just gonna gonna pat uh uh, uh on the head. Yeah, and tell him it's okay. He's gonna do better next time. Mm -hmm. Uh Kriv. All right. Uh how do you want to do this? I'm just gonna let you oh. describe it. I have had to do one of these and also I haven't like a, didn't think of anything. Um, we're just gonna have it that like probably just I don't know, just a simple, just like what like big swing, like cutting off the head. Okay. They nothing the kind of like this. This kind of like a, a, you take the uh, uh, glaive and there's this like you start moving it and spin around. Uh, and uh, and just like this trail of flame comes off the the end, and it just like sweeps right through. So so it, briefly, you have this like ring of fire around you. Yes, and it just and once as, it, like, as the, the head, head falls the head, off, the head falls off, and he just he's like stands still. He just goes smoking. I had to. And, and that uh, that uh, combat is over. Loot the bodies. Loot the bodies. Right. Do we actually have any sort of treasure in this room? I don't think so, but we'll double check. Uh, 
Nope. There's several chests of clothing, and they each have a scimitar. We got a lot of scimitars, man. <laughs> People. <laughs> 26 scimitars. All right, let's go up. Let's hurry up so we can uh, we can Just dive down. Yeah. Let's finish this module today. Yes. What time is it? About three thirty. Wow. We, we we might not because the the dragon one's probably going to take some time. Oh, I, I used the wrong. I was going to say it. probably not. Is it a is it an ancient one? No. We should be fine. Yeah. Remember, remember how quick we destroyed Kriv uh, when we did the uh, the level twenty thing. We were but level also, twenty. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, but I, I soloed it. That's what I mean. But also, I didn't have an actual like I had fixed H. I didn't have as much as HP as I was supposed to. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was supposed to be a distraction, but not super challenging. Yeah. All right. So uh, it looks like Roland, uh, uh, for some reason, has got this. Uh, uh, seems to, to kind of get a little distracted and says he has to go. And he pops on his griffin and uh, heads off. I hope so. Oh, well. It's okay. I hope his Chrome disease is gonna do, go better today. Yeah. All right. Take care, buddy. Oh, he left already. <laughs> yep. All right. Kick in the door. Destroy these bitches. All right. Everybody, move up to the upper left. Do you or want me? Right? To go, do you want me oh, to go yeah, by yeah. the by the outside, guys? By the outside. Uh, well, because you mean like this little ledge that's here? Yeah. Well, uh, I can walk up the walls. Walk the walls, yeah. Um, I would say try to get here. Sure. That's so, a window. No, but yeah. I'm just gonna go go around and find a good place to start the combat with Shatant. Uh, roll me a stealth check. Check. Sure. For both you and Shatan. Yeah. Shatan is gonna tell. Why not? Oh, it's not that bad. I'm outside, so, you know, like... They shouldn't have that much of a, of a advantage on it because I, you know, I can like move under the windows. Yeah, you're fine. And everybody reroll for initiative. Oh, God damn. Okay, so now we select our toe. We roll oh. for initiative. Wow. Or Gizzly. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, well, I guess the fight's going to be done by the time I get It's my turn. <laughs> Aww. I'm down there too, buddy.
honestly, yeah, they're mages. <laughs> Oops, that did not whisper. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> okay, <laughs> there are gargoyles. <laughs> Magic users, that one's on you. All right, I'm going to be right back. Yes. Uh -huh. He needed to do something, but he's at last in an initiative anyway, so. Oh, why is it starting five? One. I think we need to do that again. Here we are. Hmm. All right. Uh, do we have everybody on here? I believe we do. All right, uh, doors thrown open, and uh, Lemon gets to go first. Woohoo! I'm faster than than than, than later. Okay, uh, late late too well. No one. Which one of these spooky people looks spookier? Uh, let's see. Um, let me get to the right layer. The one on uh, the left. This was this one on the right. Uh, uh, looks to be. So they're in a conversation, but it looks like the guy on the right. Uh, looks to be the more of like higher up, like higher ranked. Okay. Um, can she eavesdrop on their conversation? Sure, we won't have uh, started the combat yet then. Um, so just whoever wants to can roll me a perception check then. That's per that's Cyrus's perception. And Kisota got a 23! <laughs> Does anybody else want to uh, do a perception yeah. check before you, um, we start combat? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Since uh, I'm closer to them. Look at that, 19 for Layden. Oh, yeah. The dragons are hearing, like, everything. <laughs> they hear the mice roaming the castle. I got a good perception, too. Just not as good. All right. So they seem to be discussing something about a ritual, um, it, and it's it, and it sounds like they're talking about like something about dragon masks. You can't quite make out the the specific de details, um, uh, because it seems like they're not talking in like loud tones, but you are catching a few words. Um, but it sounds like they're trying to summon in something. Summon. You can make out that they're. Uh, talking about summoning Tiamat and something about dragon masks being needed. Well, we need to, we need to stop this. Later, he um, tells me what to do. Mm. Obviously. All right, let's stop this. All right. And throw the door open? Yeah. Yep. And, now, and now we start the, the actual fight. Magic missile! Door flies open, magic missile onto the more head guy. Yes. Roll your missiles. Ten force damage. Door flies open. 
Sure. Eldritch Blast on the senior guy. Okay. All right, one of them does hit. Chitant. Chitant uh, is going to go there and breathe on them. Ew. Okay. So he breaks through the window. Well, yeah. Or Because what he could do is come over to the wall and then touch it and then move through. Oh yeah, that wall. wall, like the other one. So but yeah. he, he can do he can do this instead, and it will still work. Okay. And he's gonna breathe. DC eleven. Uh, let's see. That's a nice face. Uh, looks like uh, one of them takes it right into the face. Both of them. Uh, what is his Both name? Of 24? Them. Both no, the, the other one got us uh, 14, but for some reason it was whispered because I forgot to turn the thing on. Oh, okay. So uh, the other so, one takes half that damage. So yeah. 24? 12 and 24. Uh, so 12. Oh, it was the damage whispered. Uh, oh. Yeah. I, know, I see it. I see it. Why, why was it whispered? Oh, oh yeah, because I. I had to let the DM or, or... Right. Uh, looking surprised, uh, he touches his chest uh, in a shivering field of energy. Blitz around him. But no, but it's not it's it's not the end of this turn. Shutante is going to flee. He's not dumb. Okay. <laughs> okay. And let's see. That is an action, isn't it? Yes it is. Yeah, he's just gonna cast Major Armor because that's all he can do. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's all he's going to do. Uh, Cyrus. Well, displeasure in this stuff. I don't really like their attitude. <laughs> not dicks to not. They weren't expecting to fight, so they didn't have the mage armor already cast. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that they both need to make a deck save. They should have been ready already. I'm assuming 17, does that save? It does. Okay. Who's Asbara? It's a lightning bolt! Surprise! Okay, roll damage. Which God damn is- it! Which one has a barrel? Uh, the top one. He's he, he's not liking his day. No, no, okay. not, not at all, considering he's dead. He's, he's dead? Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> See, I was going to actually use my gravity well. Can I pull his corpse? I'm going to push his corpse this way. Because I feel like it. Ha ha! Lightning bolts. 
I, he goes shocks and he just kind of like falls over in that direction. Um, and this one is 11 points of damage. That's it for me. All right. I'll just move over. I'm going to run up here. As I'm running up here, I'm going to activate my shield. Okay. And then we're going to attack this one. Okay. Uh, let's still... throw a second level, second level divine smite. Okay. So that's yeah, three D. Womp womp. womp. Uh, he's looking really rough. Well, then let, let's attack him again. Wait, let's see. Okay, he something. did. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. That's what we like to see. Now loot the bodies. All right. Cool. Long, long rest, then going down. <laughs> that was nice and quick. Um, man, I should have just had him have their mage armor up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's and, mate and doesn't you... keep his major armor up? So it's... Well, one's not a... expecting that they're safe. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they didn't think about her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it just was... to describe the room, hundreds of four skulls are nailed to the ceilings and covered entirely. Thick carpets uh, cover the icy floor, desks, chairs, and lank lecterns are everywhere. Some covered with books and scrolls, others with potion vials. Bits of meat and fur and other things. Four hulking gargoyles uh, stand frozen in the room. <laughs> uh, sadly, the person who would be able to control those gargoyles didn't get a chance to do anything. <laughs> All right. So, gar- so let's see what's what's the trigger. All right. Big guy has uh, three spell scrolls and uh, has a staff. The spell scrolls are Dimension Door, Featherfall, and Fireball. Oh, yoink. Someone's going to learn Fireball. I already have Fireball. But there's Featherfall and Dimension Door. So. And what staff is it? So uh, I'm assuming identify is cast on the staff. Yes. Yeah. yeah, he has a staff of fire. This a staff of fire. What? What? What fire is it? It's a weapon. Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty. It's a pretty nice staff. Uh, staff has 10 charges while holding it you can use an action to expend one or more oh. of its charges to cast one of the following spells from it using your spell save DC burning hands, fireball, and wall of fire I That's love fire. it yeah it's for That's you oh uh, no it could be it could be for Shior sure. yeah it could actually would be better on Shior gives him more spells to, yeah. to use at a time yeah I'll yeah. take it alright you have a staff of fire. We'll hold on to the scroll of fireball and just sell it because I don't think Chor, you can't learn that, can you? No, he can't learn spells. Uh, okay. Yeah, he would have to get it from his patron. Okay. So yeah, that'll be just one for us to sell. All right. So or, or you can keep it handy so so somebody else could use the scroll to cast fireball. But right. well, we got one person to be able to do it. Play, we'll plus, see. We'll Plus, you also want money because. <laughs> yeah, I have plans. <laughs> All right. Long rest. Uh, let's see. Because now we have two people that can cast uh, Fireball. Well, I'm just curious, sure. What do you have equipped? Like, don't you have a sword? He has or... a sword, the Venom Dagger. I have the, the Dagger, Dagger or Venom. Staffers are versatile weapons. Oh, okay. 
I was just curious. Mm-hmm. All right, so long rest, people. We're about to fight a dragon. Do you know what kind of dragon it is? Did uh, the king tell us? White dragon. White dragon. Okay. White. Yeah, he would. He would have said white. He said that there was a white dragon. Downstairs. All right. All right and so then we, gonna... we need. So I'm assuming you're completely searching the room too. Yeah. yeah. Just in general. So thorough, thorough, th- 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 uh, thorough search of the room wields several letters to Rath, to Rath Modar, uh, from S- Severin, the supreme leader of the Cult of the Dragon. Severin's letters revealed the depth of the connections between the Red Wizards, at least those friendly to Rath Modar, and the Cult. Um, okay. Resting on the lectern is a book titled Beyond the Iron Gates. Uh, does en- anybody know Infernal? I comprehend languages. Uh, it's entirely written in Infernal, Infernal, and reading through it describes various forms of devil, devil summoning. But the final chapter describes the use of massive summonings and the sacrifice of hundreds of souls to bring Tiamat bo- bodily out of the nine hells and into the world. The details of the ritual make it clear that this is something that requires enormous preparation and expense. But the actual magical formula and chants are not given in the volume. I just like that. Comprehend language. I have yeah. eyes of the room keeper anyway, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Either okay, way, we're getting all on rest, so it doesn't matter. So we're gonna report to the to the other one while we're going for the long rest the long rest that uh it is done. Only the dragons left. Well we'll report to him once the dragon is killed. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you do go, I mean, maybe you just go give him a status update. Uh, yeah. he, he will say, "All right, uh, once you have that dragon killed, come back to me." <laughs> he's basically saying, "You gotta clear them all out," which includes that little pesky little dragon down below. Yeah, that's that's no. So we're going down below. Yeah. So, uh, you all take a, a long rest. Uh, I'm also going to take another bio because I need to pee again. It's okay. So, uh, rest up, get everything back, and I'll be right back. Yeah, be right back too.
All right. Might help if I use the right screen. All right. I took a bio. Is other people taking bios? I missed that. Uh, sister is. Okay. I know for sure. I'm not sure about anyone else. All right, is everybody ready? All right. Yeah, yeah, it's about to go down. It is. Oh, boy. Uh, since uh, we took a long rest, let's look at my spells, see if there's anything that could be of use. Probably Crib is going to give uh, resistance. Cold? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm keeping that. Yeah, I, I, I took it last time, but yeah, I'm going to keep my resistance to cold. I'm assuming, uh, Jerry, you're uh, attuning your Deathwalker's ward to uh, cold. I didn't know I could do that. Yes, you can. Uh, I think, okay. I think yes, it is. I am. Let, me, let me double check here. Is it? Oh no, it doesn't doesn't have that yet. <laughs> it will. It will. Okay. I, I'm just so, so used to it because this was in campaign wide of critical role. I remember in I think it's the, at least in the awakened state, um, where it gets this uh, options of attuning, so it can't yet. Um, since we're doing a long. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to change my uh, my uh, mutagens that I'm going to have in my body to Hulid and I think I, I have three. What if I Cool. How do I add the fire staff to my equipment? Uh, on D and D Beyond, you just drag the you just uh, going to to uh, manage equipment, staff of fire. Uh, on your character sheet in D on uh, roll twenty, again, I, I, it's the same as the. Uh, um, skills and spells. You should be able to search it in the eye. All right. And then just drag it onto your sheet. So, yeah, I'm going to have uh, you lid the in my body and uh sorry guys i'm back welcome back you're good so for now i have resistance to cold and uh i have my strength up Yeah, no, I'm not going to use Divine Favor because I uh, would be using Shield of Faith. But that's always prepared. Okay. So for now, Everyone's weapon is. I'm immune. I'm immune. Poison. Resistant. Cold.
All right, everyone ready? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna tell Shutant to uh, stay in, stay, stay in, uh, in the dimension, or to watch from yeah. far away. I'm too afraid for Layden to go up against this dragon. I agree. He can watch from far away. Uh, Zindralov is going to touch Gizli and says, uh, because of your weapon, uh, you are probably the most in need of this. And he casts a uh, death ward onto Gizli. That's a good one. Sweet. I would like to thank Zindralov for doing that. By not dying. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he doesn't really need it because of his armor. <laughs> so he was trying to think of, okay, who would best need it? And uh, he definitely would be a Gizli thing. So keep in mind here, um, uh, actually... I need to. I want to do something quickly. Everybody, get onto the field. There, I'm gonna move up so people can put yeah. their token. Because I actually want to do a slight edit to your token. Um. So, how big is your aura curve? Uh, um, ten feet. There. Yeah. For me, yes, but or for oh, for my uh, buck lord. Yeah, for your aura. Uh, ten feet. Is this ten feet, right? I'm uh, double check. God dang, I keep forgetting what these freaking things. Okay. Yeah, ten feet. Okay. So in Gizli, I'm assuming is the same. Yeah. Um, I'm going to change the color to be red. Okay. So I have... that's aura of protection, right? So, it, aura of protection so, for me also. So Bull anybody, aura. if you are in the red aura at all, you, I believe you get a plus four to your saving throws. We don't yes. see the auras. You should. Um, can I ask Shutan to check if there's uh, any exit for oh, the dragon? Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, yeah. There is one other thing. There. Can you see the auras now? Yeah. Okay. So if you're in the red aura, I believe it's a plus four. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the yellow aura... It's a plus three. Plus three and, res and resistance to cold. Oh, nice. So ju just know that if you are in the red aura at all, you get the plus four to your saving throws. Um, if you are in the yellow aura and not in the red aura, you get a plus three. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, let me get Cinder Love over here. And don't forget about the saving from cold that you're going to get from me and being in mine. So if you're in Cribs Aura, aura you get uh, resistance to cold. So if you're in both auras for some reason, you get plus four gear saving throws and resistance to cold. Like I am right now. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But I don't uh, need to be in that spot since I already have resistance to cold. But for like spellcasters and stuff, so, or actually no, because it would probably be up close. So and let's see here. Too bad I'm not a paladin uh, or range paladin. I had a question though. Do we level mm. up after the dragon, or did we level up? Before? Have I told well, you you can level up? I just asked. <laughs> I I didn't yeah. tell you to, that you leveled up, so you're, you're still level seven. Uh, sad sadness overload. Sure, right, let, me, let me see if I can get a uh, description of this area here for you. Uh, 
Mm, is there like a description for the ice tunnels? All right, so the walls of blue ice are par partly transparent, revealing various things embedded in the ice all around, including coins, helmets, livestock, and a handful of kobolds and an ogre of, or two. Frost coats the tunnel floors and crunches underfoot. Uh, can Shutan roam around and tell me if there's some, if there's any exit for the dragon to flee or anything? Uh, he he scopes around and says, "Yeah, there's like, and all the tunnels seem to lead towards the main chamber, and it can actually seem to uh, look like it. What the hell is going on with my my thing?" Hey Siri, stop. <laughs> oh goodness, Siri. Uh, I might have accidentally hit my remote on my watch. Anyways. Uh, so basically, he says, he says that it might be a tight fit, but it looks like he, uh, the, the, the big white dragon could probably squeeze in through any of the uh, tunnels there that go through here. Okay. It, it would probably slow him down, but he could he could escape. Let's make sure we didn't we hit him hard enough for him not to escape. He's aligned with the cult going down. Plus he is. All right, let's go. Everyone in ready? Uh we're missing uh, one puppy boy on the map. I'm here. Yeah, but you're oh. not on the map. Oh, Cyrus oops, is not on the sorry. map. <laughs> I always forget whatever the map changes. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you 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 basically came down from the stairs. So Chanta has, has been able to says uh he's he's kind of in the north section, but um right now uh he's actually seems to be like on the ceiling? How high is the ceiling? Uh, let's see. It's about 60 feet. Yeah, that's high. Fine. Oh. But I can walk the walls. So can I go upside down and like walk at the plafond? Yeah. Like the, the spider climb can can do that. Yeah, but like I'm gonna do that. I'm I'm upside down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but the dragon is can like easily fly around the chamber easily. So while he may currently be on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Or like Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Right here. Yeah, we need that it's epic a, battle uh, music. Uh, all right. Music. This is about to go down. That's all I got for you, I'm sorry. Hey, that's okay. All right, which also means that we need to to get the turn. Turners. Something quickly here. 
Cyrus need a initiative. All right, everybody uh, move into their positions that they want to be in. Gizzly? Do we have a Gizzly? The person you're trying to call is currently unavailable. Please call again. Sorry about that. My, my husband just got back home. Uh, okay. Yeah. No stress. All right. So, uh, uh, the dragon see sees you enter and says, Mmm, fresh meat. Uh, and uh, make sure everybody's on here. Uh, I think Gizly, did you roll? Yep. It's okay, you're going to be a dragon popsicle. I was thinking all about. <laughs> he is currently on the ce ceiling, so he's about 60 feet up. Uh, a dragon one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And that's where we uh, uh, start. Is a, a dragon uh, clawed onto the ceiling and looking down at you. All right. He's up in the ceiling 60 feet high. I can't do it. So the ceiling's 60 feet high, but how far away from us to him is he? Yeah, because he's big. Yeah, hey. so I would probably give that... 20 feet? Another... Probably more Take like off. 15 down, so... 45 so, feet away. Would be would be right. to, to, to just hit him. His head probably goes in another, so he's probably still like forty feet feet for with his head looking down. Alright, uh let's see. Uh, I mean, part of this could be thinking of of your of preparations. Alright, so I'm gonna move. Yeah, you're gonna get under him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you can't you can't reach him with your sword at all. So. Oh, then. Yeah. Right now, it's only gonna be. Um, Chor, Cyrus, Zendrolov. I have a cantrip that I can use that can actually hit him. Oh, God. And then sisters, Branding. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. You also look I, like a pretty hardy adult dragon. Yeah. I think I'm going to go back to where I was. Uh, yeah, we could just say you didn't didn't move and just kind of like uh, getting yourself ready to dodge, charge. Dodge action or something.
Come at us, you big lizard. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hold on, see how far away. We're about 45 feet away from uh, Okay, no, no, I'm not close enough. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think I'm just gonna. Just cast Shield of Faith for now. Okay. The AC goes up. Cyrus? Yes, okay. Uh, I am going to... Sorry, if this thing will work. Does this work how I think it does? I am going to... I'm sorry, I'm just really zoomed out. It's okay. No stress. I am going to... Chior has the super slaying, dragon slaying sword, right? No, that's Gizli. Gizli, sorry. Well, you know, Gizli, that sword is going to be really, really good. So I'm going to cast haste on you. <laughs> yes. What does that do? You get two attack actions. You have Go ahead and link two the to AC. spell. Yeah. Boop. It's really nice. Yeah, so... In addition to your your AC up from from Shield of Faith, you also get an additional two on that. You have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay. And you get an additional action on each of your turns. There has to be so like I, attack action. So I can it, attack like it four, can times. Be four times now? No, yeah. uh, three times. Uh, because the action can only be used to make one attack. The dash, or engage, dash hide. disengage, hide, or or to use an object, but you know, that work. I don't think. Okay, so much about it. just three attacks then. Still, yeah. still good. Yeah, yeah which is still, yeah. Because you have to remember, you can still roll those. You'll be able to roll those additional dice now. Nice. That's pretty ba. <laughs> yeah, because you got your dragon slain on there. Mm -hmm. I know a dragon is going to go that. All right. Uh, anything else? Did you want to move nope. or anything? Okay. That's it. Frederica. Uh, I'm going to go up to him by the ceiling, like I said. So when you came out of the tunnel, you kind of ran up to the top. You ran up the wall to, to the ceiling. Yeah. Instead of being on the floor. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I will uh, dragon dive and uh, do the three attacks on him. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, no, uh, so one, last one is not a good one. It's not, uh, well, the roll is okay. It's the damage is not good. Yeah. So you go and you go chink, chink uh, on the first two attacks. Attacks, it, you didn't get through his side at all. And, uh, you, but you swing around with your, uh, with the back end of your glaive, uh, and you, uh, do a sl minor slash onto him. Then he goes, <laughs> Good. He's so. branded. So you branded? Yeah, he's branded. All right. I'm just going to, uh, I probably, I'm probably going to take some damage because I've, like, I dive on the ground because of it. Right. So you like disengage the boots? No, but like my I didn't I didn't disengage. I just like I said I dragoon jump on him, so I'm gonna fall on the ground while I do the attacks. So do you want me to do a dex save to know if I'm able oh, to land on oh, feet? Yeah, go ahead and uh, roll a dexterity saving throw. Let's see not, I, but I'm not was... at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, so you fell about 
let's see, it's 60 feet up, so I'm gonna say... Let's say I walked on the dragon to slash his face. But I cannot hold on the dragon, so I fall on the ground. So you probably fell about 50 20. feet. Oh yeah, that, that works. Right? That's, yeah. that's a d6 for each, every 10 feet, right? Yeah, 5d6. I just don't remember how many, uh, what the uh, d is. So you take t uh, 23 points of falling damage. I knew it was going to happen, so, you know. Uh, so, all right. Anyways, and the love has to do something. And uh, for my remnant movement, uh, probably there. Those are those are um, 10 feet squares, but they're not really 10 feet squares. Yeah, we're just counting them as five feet. Just make it easier. Good. So, yeah, I'm going to finish there. All right. If you can, guys, group up on me. That's going to be good. Come at us, you big lizard. Uh, um, and... As a lizard myself, I take offense to that. Well, he said big lizard. Oh, now I take okay. even more I'll offense to that. <laughs> I'll take a slight offense because I used to be one. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's still, that's the point. I'm trying to insult him. Good, good, good job, guys. Thank you for telling me it's working. Uh, he's going to get a release from the ceiling. And float down, uh, down and land right here. And uh, actually, I think he has a ten foot. No, for the claws. And immediately, no. I need everybody to make a uh, wisdom saving throw. No, no breath weapon. Oh shit! Okay. He so... look. He wants to do something else first. Then maybe he'll do do the breath weapon later. <laughs> Just to remember your pluses for if you're in any of the, the auras. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm plus three, uh, uh, plus four on that one. You're a plus four because you're in uh, uh, Gizli's. Uh, yeah. I am not in Jesus. any auras. Okay, so you're you're just your flat wisdom save. Oh, no. Chris oh, no. Oh, no. Cyrus does not. Cyrus is frightened. <laughs> That's a big one. And, uh, Gizli, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. He's the uh, evil fail one! Well, there you go. Okay, yeah. We don't even need to worry about the, the, the whiz saves. Um, yeah, so he lets out a big old roar, roar uh, using his frightening <laughs> presence. Uh, Cyrus, you're frightened. Uh, so you're so everybody who succeeds are immune for his right for frightful presence for 24 hours. And you become frightful. You, it doesn't say which t type of frightened, but I believe it's uh, all you can do on your turn is dash. To get away from him, I think. No, no, it's no? the um, disadvantage. Oh, it's disadvantage. You cannot go um, towards it. Yeah, so you but, can't get it get any cl closer to him, uh, and you all you have disadvantage on all your attacks against him. Obviously, if you're using stuff that don't require a hit, it really kind of doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. But he's also okay. multi-attacking. Uh, so. Uh, right on Frederica because she tacked him. Yeah. So he's going to claw, claw, bite. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, there is one person who I didn't, we didn't do. Hold on. There's another one, but I'm not going to had in him, had him on the, uh, the initiative. Shit. He is not within 10 feet of... Oh, wait a minute. No, no. I think he's, like, just within 10 feet of Criff. So, he saved. I'm going to do... Yeah, he is. Because I would make the squares um, 
the, the radius 20 feet? Yeah, because it, to, to show the squares proper. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Plus four? No, I wouldn't have done it. But yeah, those, those, those are five feet. Oh, it's because the... Yeah, you need to put 20 because the... the uh, yeah, because yeah. I'm doing the five feet. Yeah. Right. I got it. I'm, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Yeah. Uh, would would yeah, Cyrus yeah. get uh, pl yeah Cyrus would he get it with a fourteen? No, we, he would have gotten thirteen, wouldn't it? Nine plus yeah, four. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thirteen. So it would still be be a failure. Yeah, probably because it's a it's a big one. So two uh, attack hits me. Those are the damage. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, plus eleven to strength. God dang! Yeah, I'm gonna take twenty-five damage. Oh, Zinder Love, I'm gonna need some help over there, and he's gonna take twelve damage. Oh, what happened with the uh, uh, turn order? Hmm? What happened oh, with the turn order? I accidentally turned oh. turn it off. There it is. Uh, it's right yeah. there. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but he's taken 12 damage, uh, psychic damage, if there's a problem with resistance or something. Nope, I guess. <clears throat> like, every attack he does to me, he, like, his head hurts. All right. He doesn't care. <laughs> he's All right. Chiar. Okay, I am putting up Wall of Fire with <laughs> the majority of the dragon that I can get in there. Okay, it's uh, 10... 20 foot diameter. In, uh, Gizli, if he's inside our circles, he's inside our range of attack. Or, well, no. He'd be inside my range, but he wouldn't be inside your... They're quite inside your range. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so actually part of that is is uh, Curve would have gotten a plus four, but it's also like... I was already at yeah, 20 something. Yeah, you're it. <laughs> yeah, I was already at 26 beforehand, so didn't really need it. <laughs> plus okay. <four. laughs> right. A deck save, uh, and he's actually... He rolls a 13, but he's going to use one of his legendary resistances yeah, to resist that. Uh, so we have the damage. 11 damage. That's perfect. And let's draw that wall of fire. So how did you how did you want the wall of fire just to kind of like circle around with him? And it can be a circle was, on him. Yeah, it could be on uh, the majority of his body inside the circle. So it's like five. It's ten, ten foot squares, right? Um, it's a 20 foot diameter circular wall is what I'm going for. Okay. So let me draw a shape. Oh. That's 20 feet diameter, not, uh, so diameter that, that's, that's his. <laughs> that's. Like, circle. I don't, I don't want that. It's basically the token. So if yeah. Germany is going to be outside of it, the fire is directed inward, of course. So, uh, that's all I want to do. Uh, draw a shape. There you go. Uh, which one, which one is it? Alt. Here we are. Because it's 20 foot because we're doing this. I'm, just, I'm scaling it down. Yeah. So that would be a 10 foot. 20 foot would be about. No, it's a 40. No, that's what he means. It's 40 in this map. I told you. It's, oh, it's four square. 
It's a four square by four square plus. Yeah, you know. I, right now I'm just developing the circle. So, oh, uh, yeah. there we go. Yeah. And then, like that. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe more on the dragon so that we can, like, attack through it. <laughs> like that. We can't, we can't attack through the wall? Well, passing your, if you pass through the wall, you get the damage. But yeah, but I right. would it. I have to be range. It's a, foot, it's a foot thick, too, so. It's how thick? The wall itself is a foot thick. Oh yeah, our, our weapons can get through that easily without having to actually go through it. Still. Oh, and just want to make sure that everybody knows you don't do the save again if you start yeah. or end your turn there. You're just taking the damage. I just need a reference here. That's okay. A creature takes the same damage, so it's going to be always 22. It's not going to get re-rolled. 22 is okay. Yeah. It's 5d8 every time somebody steps in or start, well, steps through or starts their turn in. Yeah, but the fire burns at, the, at one intensity and you rolled it. The yeah, damage it's, of the fire is yeah so you rolled it once and that's how much damage was being dealt. You don't have to roll again. Okay, gotcha. Mm. It's better for you because you got a good like a decent wall of fire. So it, it works in your favor. Yeah. Don't remember it takes your concentration. Got that covered. All right, so that's your turn, I guess, or do you want to move? Nope, I'm done. Yeah, I was about to say I just stay back since he can do range. I want I want people to to cl to cl uh, cluster on me the more they can. Why? Because every because <laughs> every time he's gonna attack someone close to me, he's gonna take six damage, and that heads up. And since he doesn't know that kind of thing. That it affects the other pe people. His breath weapon, he's going to try to hit the most people, and it's going to be insane that the damage is going to take. Even if we succeed, we take half of the damage. Half of half because we have protection from Kriv's uh, cold damage. He's he's not going to do it again. <laughs> All right. At the end of Tiro's turn, uh, I need uh, Kriv, Frederica, and... Uh, uh, Gizly to make me a dexterity saving throw. Is this something I see coming? Yes. Like, right. you're, you're familiar with when a, a dragon starts beating his wings. So, but. So, 20 for me. The we got twenty sixteen and Frederica. Uh, uh, I have fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Um, only Kriv saved. Uh, and um, okay. and you take fifteen points of damage for those who failed. He's gonna take twelve. Is it fifteen? Yeah. Wait a can see that I'm uh, I'm breathing heavily. <laughs> uh, can I do up? Is that all? And he's gonna move over there. He's gonna move out of the wall of fire. I'm gonna do an attack of opportunity. Mm 
not with advantage. Why did it roll with advantage this? That's okay. So I miss. I miss him. Yep. Eleven is. It's that wall of fire kind of got it got a little bit confusing. Yeah, no, it's okay. Yeah, and this is me learning the legendary actions. So that's why it's taking a little bit slower. It's okay. Uh, so that takes two. Griff, uh, your quarry moved away. Yes. We're going to move right here. And I'm going to activate my shield. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to strike with my weapon. Or, sorry, this is only with advantage. So, just 11. No. Nope. Uh, this guy seems to be having some uh, tough hide. And second one. Maybe that's one. Hit. That'll hit. And then add a second level Divine Smite onto that. Okay. So, 3d8. No, it's 4d8. No, it's second at first level. It's two at first level, three at second level. Oh yeah, and it's not a yeah, no, it's not a fiend. It's fiend right there. Yeah, it's a lizard. That's good. Good damage. Yeah. He's probably starting not to like his day. And that's it. Yeah, bump, movement, bonus action, action. All right. Like I'm more than bloodied. Oh shit! Oh well. Uh, there was another spell he could have done used earlier. That's okay. Three slots on that. Okay. Mm, no, he's gonna do something else there. Frederica, uh, heal for twenty-three. Uh, as uh, Zindrigov comes up and touches you on the shoulder, oh, and says, that's... "Thank you." We still need you, my friend. Yeah. I'm still bloodied. <laughs> That's what happens when you charge in and not being the one who's more tanky. Uh, yeah, I know. And you fall. I know. The fall was... Decisions. Uh, was... Your decisions just weren't great. <laughs> no, I didn't think Actions that one through. Consequences. Actions have consequences. <laughs> By the way, did you did you already consider your Hemocraft die for lighting your, your weapon on fire? It's it's already done. Okay, just want to make sure. I wasn't sure. Uh, I just never like unlit it. <laughs> All right. And this is, by the way, I'm going to do something here, and I just want to tell you that uh, I'm going to uh, rule this as as I hate the original rule uh, <laughs> for this. And I think I'm just going to go with the, the critical role, rule of how, how they work. It. Because uh, I'm going to also have uh, Zindralov cast a spiritual weapon. Uh, oh, you don't like the fact that we cannot uh, cast two yeah. spells? So, and... so, so if anything, the second spell, the if you cast any, the second spell has to be a second level or lower. For haste? No, no for sure. for for casting multiple spells during during a turn. If it's a bonus action, you should still be able to click to cast it, even if you cast a regular level spell. But it, uh, uh, so it, it, that, I know what the the regular rule is. No, I, I mean in the um, critical role, isn't it? They, uh, it's second level or lower. 
No, I think I, mean, I think with the campaign two, he might have gone back to the original rules. But in the campaign one, he said second level or lower, you could you could cast uh, if you've already cast a one higher. Okay, because uh, uh, in the Taldor book, I know you have the Taldor book, so it's third level and lower if you wish. Okay, I'm gonna say second level just because that way I can cast it and also trying to get closer to the original rule. Sure. Anyways, uh, so. So he's going to cast Spiritual Weapon, and he is actually going to hit. And he'll save right. damage. And, uh, hold on. I need a thing. Short roll with a hammer. Uh, yeah, where's my... There it is. There's the spear hammer. This is kind yeah. of like a... Well, it's not really flanking, but, you know, it's there. And you know what? Any damage is good damage. Yeah. Right? It is. And now it would be the moment to move the, the dragon into the ring of fire. <laughs> 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 right, so... uh, actually, hold on. Uh, at the end of Zindralov's turn, uh, he's going to make a tail attack. I think he's got like three legendary actions, right? Three legendary. Yeah. Yeah. Three reg legendary action per, per his turn. Uh, so he's going to make a uh, tail attack against uh, um, TR for casting that wall of fire. Uh, yeah, we'll take a, uh, all of a sudden, a, a, a tail comes whipping and, and hitting Chior in the face. Uh, take 24 points of damage. And that 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 you're gonna need to do it to a twelve constitution save. Okay. But you do that. Yeah. yeah you, you, you con well, you, wall of fire is a concentration spell, right? Yeah. 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 I so have you. Eldritch Bind. What does so it do? Advantage on that. Okay. I have Eldritch Bind. So go on. Mm -hmm. And add plus three to your roll. Okay, you should I'm do sorry. it. What do I do again? Uh, just do it. Do a con, uh, do a con save with advantage because of your Plus object three. mind. Plus three. Oh yeah, you're fine. Oh yeah, yeah, you're fine. Okay, so f the wall of fire is still up. Okay. Now, Gizli, it is your turn. Uh, hold on, hold on. Why <laughs> do you have a reaction? I do. I have hellish rebuke. Okay, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, it, it's a saving throw or? Um, it's a uh, yeah, it is. Hold on, let me pull it up. It's a deck save. Let, let him look at his spell. Sure, sorry, <laughs> my bad. Oh, that oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, it is. No, I mean something else that you'll see when my turn comes back around. Mm. Yep. I know what you mean. Uh, he saves. It, does it? Is it half damage on the save or? Um, hold on. Um, da, 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 da. I'm gonna say it. Half as much as it, on a successful one. Okay, cool. <laughs> so total of twenty-six. Uh, half, so thirteen points of damage. What does your hellish re rebuke get look like? His tail comes slapping you in the face really hard. And then what do you what happens for the rebuke? <laughs> a bitch slapped um, in the dragon's face. Hold on. Okay. This is you describing what happens. Okay. Point your finger at the creature that damaged you and it's momentarily surrounded by hellish flame. The creature must stay to the next save. Blah blah blah. Okay. Why? So, it, it, no, it, it, so how does that look? This is how this is you being creative. Okay. Well, I kind of turn around after he slaps me, and I turn back towards him, and my eyes start glowing red. And yeah, there's the smell smell of sulfur in the air, and all of a sudden he's got a face full of fucking flames. <laughs> So, so, so this, this tail comes whipping by and just bitch slaps his shirt, almost knocking him over. 
over. And when he turns around, there's just like flames coming from his eyes. And all of a sudden, there's this burst of fire that uh, the, uh, appears around uh, the white dragon's uh, face. He goes, ah! All right. Gizli, now it's your turn. All right. <laughs> all right. So, um, do I have to move? Yeah, I am going to have to move closer, huh? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Just, right. uh, just keep me the, the space in between most of people. Yeah, shit. Oh, oh, go down oh. one space, please. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. All right, there we go. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, so I'm going to activate my sword. Yes. All right. I can kill the sword. All right, and we're going to attack. Jesus. Nice. Oh, crit. <laughs> All right. That's so, the to smite. You want to smite with your biggest one. Yes. Yeah, so, I, so, I think I'm going to use uh, second level. Second so, level. So yeah, right. I'm use, use a second level wrath. Sixty-eight. Right. Oh. Uh, how do I do a 68? I can you only you can just do a slash roll 68. Slash R 68. Either one. It works both ways. Like that. You see the... Yeah. yeah. Alright. Now, if I'm right, that's the smite damage. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. You also need to roll your dragon slaying damage. <laughs> 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 Another D6? 3D6. 3D6. Actually, no, it's 3D6 is the base. This is a crit. So it's another 66, right? It's D6, right? You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, crits. wow. This is insane. Oh, this my is pretty God. ridiculous. I'm so proud of the sword. I'm so proud of the it says a uh, six d six. Yeah, six d six. I think you're gonna do half his life in one one attack. <laughs> Twenty four. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's just one attack. So I got two more. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so so hold on. I'm I, I'm gonna uh, I'm I'm doing this easily by just doing each part. So that was uh, a twenty three on the initial crit. Another 30 for Divine Smite, and then another 19 uh, on on the, the next part. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, not, it's not 23, it's 23 plus 14. Yeah. So 37. Oh, okay, first. so another, another 14. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, I, I'm literally, because the nice thing about this is I can, I can just uh, click on the health and just do like the minuses. So instead of doing math for each one, I just type it in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we can all do that if we click on our uh, character, the little uh, green bubble. Yeah. If we click it and do minus the number and enter, it's gonna uh, take up. Yeah, yeah, I did not. Know. The, the, that's the easiest way to, to adjust your health. All right, I'm right, go for my second attack. Uh, I will tell you this: he is already bloodied. <laughs> I haven't even gotten a turn yet. You're also frightened of him. I know. I haven't even gotten a turn yet. I'm not even going to be able to do anything. You're like, big dragon, big dragon. <laughs> you can smite on that one too at this point. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. <laughs> so, uh -huh. 3d6. If you do a second level. That's a shit ton of damage. Wait a minute, is it... So, wait a minute, it's 3d6 for the... It's d6 is for the dragon... Dra so, the Divine oh, Smite, d6s or d8s? D8s, my apologies. I was... He's so still... I think he still yeah. needed the 3d6s for the dragon slay, though. Oh, yes. yeah. Okay. So, then... another 3d8 for, for a second level Divine Smite. <laughs> Mm 
That's By the way, this is before he even does an oath of enmity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he, he still has an attack and he's done 131 damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm so proud. Yeah. Uh, I think I have so one more. And minus 13. Yes, um, haste one. Yeah, he's he's looking pretty pretty bad. And then your hasted attack. So one more attack. Hey, see, you know, hey, my haste is doing more work than I am. And you know what? That's okay. Well, <laughs> just consider this as part of your damage. Yes. yes. Anything it... you could do, I'm also doing. Oh, there yeah. We go. <laughs> and smite again, baby. I mean, hey. more really <laughs> cats. So I got another right, little. Let me, the, let me do the dragon one real quick. The, the uh, 3d6. 3d6 and then 3d8. Aww. It's okay. It needs to happen. It's, 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 it's fine. It, it, yeah, I, I, they're rolling. All right. uh, do you still have second level uh, smite slot? No, that would be his last one. Yeah. Okay. Because we only have three right now. Uh, he's looking pretty rough. <laughs> he's... You he's is still up. I am regretting ever allowing this dragon slain sword. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say you did 171 damage in a turn. Thank you. Wow. Cyrus, you can kill it. Nothing. I'm putting it in the fire. I'm, but I'm, I'm afraid. You can still attack. You attack with disadvantage. Guess what? Magic missile doesn't do. <laughs> get, get, guess what? Guess what? Anything that requires a save doesn't do. Of course. Yeah. Well, I'm very... I am upsetty spaghetti at this dragon for making me so scared. Oh, you gotta, so it's, gonna uh, take, it's gonna take a level 4 lightning bolt. Alright. Yeah. This is... Uh, this is oh! Legendary action, probably. Yeah, he's probably gonna... Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna use his... Bullshit! I'm, I'm sad. Let me do something for once. <laughs> no, this is a lightning bolt. He still takes half damage, so roll the damage. Yeah. Plus, we want him to use up his legendary actions. Or his legendary resistances and stuff. So he can't anymore. He, he still is one. looking really rough. I'm, if, that, if he didn't have any legendary resistances, he would have died there, right? Probably. You don't know. <laughs> so I need to use all of my movement to get away. No, you don't. Uh, need, no, 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 no. You, you don't need, need to move. You don't have to move. It's it's. You can't get okay. any closer. Okay. So you can, but you can still move away from him. Did did you want to move at all? Uh, no, I am okay. not going to move. Uh, Frederica, this dragon is chunky. I just want to say, uh, I'm gonna move there, and uh, I'm gonna attack it three times. Hope kill. All right, just do it one at a time. You completely whiff. You whiff. And you whiff. Well, what do you want me to say? You're no, like, I'm like sorry. Uh, 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 uh. all those hits that fall from the floor just kind of gotten you off balance. Uh, yeah, um, he's not very happy. But is he gonna do a breath attack? He's gonna look in this direction of the uh, little baby dragon, the two paladins, and the uh, I need um, Gizli, Cyrus, Kriv, and Frederica to all make me a Constitution saving throw. Is it? Um... Is With it half four. damage for, succe for success? With your drag con conic knowledge? Yeah, sure, probably. Okay. Uh, he He's going to take 24 damage. 
Is it, um... I got a 15. Is he dealing elemental damage? Yeah, yes. he's dealing cold. Okay, I would like to, as a reaction, cast Absorb Elements. Okay. Not at 4th level, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Just Good. one. We also, take, we also take half damage, all of us who this is affecting. And then Good. I do my con save. Which, did I do already? I did not. Plus four. Plus four. See how so I entered two. the plus four, guys? It's Gizli's aura. Yeah. So, okay. the DC was 19. Nice. Oh! But so, everyone, oh my god. Everybody who saved takes 63 points of, of cold damage. Everybody who did not save uh, gets uh, 32. No. It, no, other way around. Yeah, and... Everyone has or resistance the cold in this area, so half of half, so half for anyone and half of half for the one who succeeded. So six. What if I have yeah. resistance myself, and then uh, also have additional? You, you only get the one resistance. So okay, yeah, but you absorb a part of the damage bef uh, after the uh, the reduction. Okay, so did I make a save? Thirty to nineteen. Uh, the 19 made it. Beats it, beats it. So, so 31, 31 divided by 2. No, no, no. Well, hold on. It should you're, be you're 16. Saying wrong numbers. It should be 16, 32, and 63. I think. No, hold it's on. 15. Because it's, it's 63 yeah. divided by 2 is 31. There, I put, I put them in the chat. No, I think you whispered it. No, I put it in the chat. It's just little numbers underneath oh, okay. the 63. 63, 31, 15. So okay. 63 is if you failed and don't have any resistance. 31 if you have resistance or you, or you succeeded. 15 if you succeeded and have resistance. Okay. So okay. it only takes 31. Okay. And uh, as I said, he's taken 24 damage. Yeah, I just wanted to see the re resolution of it all to see, yeah, see okay. where everybody is. So I take 15 then, right? Since I got the save, yeah. Everybody who got the save, uh, yeah, because we're we're in Crib's aura, so okay. I think I'm the only one who didn't make the save. Yeah. No, I didn't either. Oh, okay. And then, uh, his mind is racked, and he falls to the ground. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, but I mean, how is everybody right now after taking the damage? Oh, it was I'm the first so damage I've taken all session. I'm and I'm good. at I, I'm almost dead. I'm, <laughs> I'm still up, and I took a shit ton of damage this fight. Okay. So, um, does that wall of fire um, melt the ice? It's starting to. Oh. Wait, uh, we can... So uh, you can, uh, I mean, in the end, you could take time. Uh, yeah. Take time. So it, you're not in any actual rush. Rush at this point in time. Because everyone that's left in the castle is allies. You're you're not going to tell us that there's a second one, right? <laughs> no. Okay. Good. By the way, he I I set him to max health. Oh. <laughs> Well, with that 170 damage in one turn, do you, do, I... do you know what max health from the base health that they had in the ha, had automatically was? An additional uh, 88 hit points. Oh wow! So it's like <laughs> almost 300. Yeah, it's 288 hit points. Oh wow. my goodness! <laughs> oh wow! My, I'm I'm super glad that the damage that killed him is the mental damage. <laughs> it's the okay. guilt of attacking my party. Basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna say how he died because like it's my kill, right? <laughs> yeah, Frederica, how do you want to do this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as the second as he breathed his uh his cold damage, he sees the the face unfazed of Frederica and just looking at him with judgment and he he Tumble on the ground, dead of judgment. The, the, the look. 
It's it's the mother look combined with the father look. <laughs> so the floor of the cavern is carpeted in gold, silver, copper, and jewels, all sealed under a sheet of ice. Dozens of old skulls and bones are also frozen in the ice. Uh, so this is going to require like several fire spells and or uh, some long wait bonfires to melt the ice. But uh, in the end, over time, you're able to melt the ice and yeah. taking the time to count it. Uh, actually, let me just like copy pasta for this just so you can see everything that's in here. You have five hundred thousand gold or uh, copper pieces, oh, hundred thousand oh silver pieces, five thousand gold pieces, a frozen chest containing eight hundred platinum pieces. Nice. Uh, Twenty-one small blue sapphires worth about three hundred gold pieces each. A frozen Program. potion of gaseous form. Uh, these can easily be identified. Uh, yep. Pushes gases form a uh, plus one long sword, a plus one longbow, uh, plus one leather armor, and uh, bracers of defense. I'm adding it all to the list so we can take care of it later. Yeah. Um, can can we uh, skin the dragon to take the um, uh, the 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 hide because it's still sturdy? The bones for materials for Kriv to make. Uh, dragon slaying stuff. I don't think that um, would be a good thing to do, especially considering the fact that we have baby dragons inside of our house. And I don't need a uh, any material to do the dragon slayer um, enchantment. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's, it's just a weird innate feature. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need every single one of you to roll me a d forty. Yeah, let's roll that before. Well. well, 16 is the best I did. That's all right. Let's 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 just say this. There's no bads or good. Well, maybe there's bads. Okay, how do I roll a d40? Slash, just, like just down. slash R Sorry. space d40. 1d40, yeah. Six. Uh, hey, wait, Cyrus, wait. Cyrus, I needed you to re-roll. Oh, why? Oh, because, because Kriv also Kriv got, got a six. six. Oh, come on, Kriv. I get, I, I get none of these are bad. I just need different ones. 28. Okay, 28. Uh, Chiyors got 27. Go. Okay, cool. Zendra. Right. Oh, shoot. I need to open this up. I need to go into the Taldor campaign guide. Oh yeah, Zinder Life needs to roll. That's uh, that's one epic fight, guys. That was awesome. Yes, it was. Yeah, thirty-one. All right. Uh, that did all the all the damage. And when we get to uh, by the time we get to our next session, I'll have a total of what everyone will get once we sell everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll do that. I'll take care of that this week. Okay. Um, can I still take dragon parts to sell? So it's a uh, white dragon. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to take care of this part first. Sure. So, uh, but we 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 can get into the specifics in, in a second. But I thought it would be nice to go through this. Yay. So, uh, while searching around, Kriv, you find a uh, some scale armor. Uh, this antique armor forged from jade and uh, black dragon scales. Uh, they identified it is the armor of the Valiant Soul. Gives a plus one bonus to AC while wearing the armor, and you can cast the command spell with a DC of 13 while attuned to the armor. And then you uh, once a day, you cannot use this ability again until you have completed a long rest. It's a medium armor, the scale mail. It's a scale mail. <laughs> scale mail is medium, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. If I get something that you can use, uh, I wouldn't we mind trading. Yeah, yeah, because that that honestly, I would. But you, I'll sell it because my armor is better. 
Yeah, right. um, I, I think it's an artifact. You don't want to sell that. Yeah, you, you uh, recognize this as, as one of those. Uh, so okay. next step, with our 16, uh, Frederica. Uh, you find some... Uh, Thick cloth strips of enchanted material, which you, oh, nice. uh, appear to be stained with blood of unknown origin. Yes. You uh, find out that these are the wraps of uh, Diamok. Uh, yes. You find out that the attunement can only be done by a monk. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, uh it provides a, you can have a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with your unarmed strikes. Whenever you finish a short or long rest, you gain a number of temporary hit points equal to your full key points. Wow, Frederica, your key points are doing so much for you. I've seen know, you use right? them so often. I know, right? All right. Uh, 17. Ooh, I think this is one I haven't figured out what it does. Uh, so, Gizzly, you find a... Oh, actually, I need to pull up my other notes. Uh... Um, can we... You, you find a this uh, coin, which has a... The image of a woman's profile and boss right, right, yeah yeah of a woman's profile uh, identified is referred to as a luck coin which i haven't figured out what it actually does it's called a what a luck a coin? Luck coin. A luck coin yeah and since you found it i need to fig now figure out what it actually does <laughs> Can we quickly um go to, uh, let King, the king know? I have to go because we got Christmas and a birthday to celebrate. So, oh, okay. Um, yeah, mm. yeah. So we we can uh, pull pull a summary a little bit later. I'm just the rest of it is just this, and then um, level up. Yeah, it, it, it yeah you get level eight. Yeah, and okay, we will we will start the next next session. Uh, I might I'm I'm gonna see if I can just swap out the modules. Uh, if, but if I can't do that, we'll, we'll start a new game, and I'll let you know. But okay. we'll, we'll does the king the do country. anything for us? What does the king do anything for us? Uh, yeah, he gives you a choice of uh, of a uh, runes uh, of Ooh. different items dealing with certain runes. Uh, since you have to go, we'll just deal with that next game. Okay. Yeah. So we can do a okay. lot next game. But I'll get. I'll let the other uh, uh, three, the other ones know what we got, and we'll list it off in the chat. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. bye. Uh, let's see. What what else was there? Twenty-eight. Uh, you find a dagger. Which seems like it's kind of like the dagger of venom, but it seems to be more lethal. <laughs> oh, more lethal. That's always fun. Uh, yeah, it's called the Venom Fang. Oh, it's a good one. Uh, not necessarily. No, um, I mean, not a, it's an evil one, but not it's a it's still a good one, like uh you also let's see, um Chior finds a. I I don't think I've actually figured out what this is. Oh, I know what it is. It's. It looks like it's a, a circlet, with which has kind of like horns coming up from it. Um, and uh, identified, it is referred to as uh, Toppelvir. Which anybody who speaks Infernal would know that it 
that word is means commander in Infernal. But uh, he can is, read it. There is a uh, symbol on it of a crown of spiked onyx and curved horns. What does it do? I haven't figured that out yet, but I think it has <laughs> something to do with uh, 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 commands and uh, the subjugation. I think there's probably going to be some sort of domination spells in, at higher oh. levels. Ooh, oh, nice. Can you spell the name of that, please? Uh, let me actually... I'll put that in the chat. Thank you. Uh, and if anybody recognizes that the symbol is a symbol for Os uh, Asbodius. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not a good one. Uh, and uh, the 31... Yeah, some of those the higher rolls actually get up into the evil evil artifacts. Oh. Um, so uh, sorry, I was just um, what was mine again? It was uh, the, the thing of, of venom. Yeah, the thing of the venom thing, which is a dagger. So, yes. Oh, we found the other an other Tiamat uh, artifact. Uh, it is a choker uh, with uh, uh, five gems of very familiar, like a uh, uh, colors. Um, it is called the uh, Breath of the Queen. Nice. That and, sounds really fucking cool. And. Um, when attuned to it, uh, it gives. It ha I haven't figured out the the full thing, but it will give basically a breath weapon, based off of a uh, a tune choice of a chromatic dragon. So it has a re it like has a red gem, a blue gem, a white gem, a black onyx, uh, nice. and a green gem, and a white pearl. Yeah, get out. Uh, probably more like a diamond because it would be more like oh yeah gemish. Uh, and it's basically, basically, I think I'm going to have it as just uh, when attuned, you can set it to a specific type and it will have a DC based off of the item, which will be like DC 13 to begin with. And then as it awakens, it gets more powerful. That's cool. I mean, that's what Cinderlove finds. Oh, a moonstone is white. It's white, white. Although I, b I believe when it comes to dragons, opals are typically the chromatic white. So uh, I, I think you were right the first time. Yeah, but the, there's yeah, the, the uh, Australian opal and the Ethiopian opal are white, white. So probably there's gonna be. But uh, that's the artifacts that you find that are in the horde. Nice. That's nice. really cool. Yeah, uh, we'll I believe. The rest in the yeah. Once we. I have a Stop. In <laughs> yeah. Next session, I think we could probably do trading and stuff because this venom fag does not do a whole lot for me. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, and also you don't actually know what it does because I haven't figured that out either. Exactly. Because it's a, it's a dagger of my own creation. <laughs> um. So, wind. Can I speak with? You? Do you have the time? Yeah, because I don't have time to make dinner before my podcast, anyways. But they, that's the end of the session, so I'm going to actually uh, end that in the show. So, bye, everybody on the thing. Bye, bye, bye. bye.